Welcome to Dungeons and Dragons. I feel like I have a castle with this music playing, so I had to like ham it up. Hi everyone, welcome to the stream. I'm Dan, and I'm joined by six lovely, amazing people. We got we got Barry, we got Gam, we got Saren, we got Nicole Goodnight, we got Dan Floyd, and we got Joe Cat. Did I say Dan twice? <laughs> I don't know if I did. Barry, Gam, Dan, Nicole, Joe Cat, Saren. There we go. In case I said Dan twice. I, I'm joined by these amazing, lovely people. If you want information, there's links down below. You can also do exclamation D, J, and D, and there's links about everyone. Uh, if you'd like to learn about any of the stuff they make. Um, we're just going to get into it because I'm excited to play. Uh, and I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. And uh, a, a good start to your December. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Oh, hey, friends. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, hi. How's, How's it, going? it going? Hi. Hi, Dan. Hello. What you guys up to? You know, being oh, real yeah. excited oh, yeah. for tonight. Not Is dying? Me? Doing this real quick. <laughs> yeah, enjoying, you know, being alive and having my yeah. life be alive. <laughs> Yeah, being yeah. alive is real good. It's real good. It's yeah. real good. You guys picked a good room to I be alive in. Yet. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much. You know what my much. favorite part of thank being you. in this room is? Um, the, the, the part what where you guys actively part? found a pressure plate, acknowledged it was a pressure plate, and then said to activate said <laughs> pressure plate. <laughs> okay, Listen. now... Now, be... hang on. You say you guys. Um... <laughs> I thought we were I stuck think in the, the room. Blame is fully squared on one person here. I thought we were stuck in the room. I thought I apologized <laughs> already. <laughs> I'm dumb. I, listen, I live for this. I live. Thank you so much, Nicole, for providing us this opportunity. Yeah, you're welcome that my stupidity could provide us the opportunity to maybe. Uh, yeah, total it's, it's, listen, it's a little table mimic. You're gonna handle it in no time. Um, it's all it is. It's all, all it is. is uh, are you guys ready to start? Okay. You guys want to get into it? Anyone? Uh, yeah. So ready. Do you want to do it? Oh well, I'll do a recap. A little. Also, quick question reshipped. uh for audience. Okay. Uh, is, is volume levels okay? I I messed with my mic stupidly today because I thought that was a good decision, and now I don't know. If it is, just at me, or if it's not, also at me. Uh, but I'll just I'll start with the recap while while Chat's figuring that out. Um, we got we got I get some 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 thematic music here. We'll do we'll do something like there we go. Ooh. So mm -hmm. heading south into the Ashen Highlands, our party is hot on the tail of one of the missing artifacts, the Ring of Flame. 
After meeting with the Elder of the Rift of Flame, the party ventured into the Voskori Bog to trail the rescue party that had already been sent out after a recent attack on their colony. Meeting up with the three guides after a day or two in the swamps, Gelnik found com uh, trouble with their new company as two of their new companions were members of his tribe, the Ustenki, and he had recently uh, been banished from them. Eventually, the party made their way to Castle Olui, a memory of a once fallen kingdom, now the lair to a beholder known as the Hydra. The party entered through the sewers, avoiding the detection of the patrols, dispatched a few slimes before entering the courtyard and successfully retrieving the remaining living prisoners. Their mission, however, is not yet done. The Hydra now wears the ring that they've been hired to retrieve, but before we can get to dealing with that, the party found a secretive room filled to the brim with gold and treasure. Though its pristine condition amongst a ruined castle gave the party caution, and inspecting further found a pressure plate trap with the central space of the chamber, they then proceeded to activate said pressure plate and seal themselves minus one trilby in a stone sealed chamber. Searching for a way out, Faley went to inspect under a lar large rug covering the room, first by moving a finely carved wooden table just as it bared its teeth and revealed itself to be a mimic. And that is where we will pick it up. Let's start with uh, initiative from everyone. Mm -hmm. Question. Am I included um, with everyone? Would you... Well, I'll, I'll say no for the time being, but we will we'll come around in a few turns to see what Trilby's been up to. Can I can I asterisk? Uh, are the are there bars? What what is, is the stone. door in front it of is me? Solid stone. Um, on your side, there's absolutely nothing. On Morenthal's side, um, there is a small uh, ornate keyhole that is in the center of the door. Is there, is there a, a, perhaps a small scrubbins-sized gap? Scrubbins would not be able to squeeze through. It, it's mm -hmm. it's no, right. uh, it's sealed to the point, almost airtight, but like not fully airtight. It is, it is a solid slab of stone cutting you off, unfortunately. Understood. Well, I tried. <laughs> I'm going to take a nap. Uh, I need to roll initiative real quick. So yeah, sorry, sorry, Joe, to, to come back to immediately put your, force you into this combat situation. You know what? This is, <laughs> it's throwing me in the deep end. You know what? I got to swim now. Uh, yeah, sorry yeah. about it. It's, uh, <laughs> it's exciting like, It's that gif of community where he walks in the door and everything's on fire when he's got the pizza. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, the equivalent would be him walking in the room, but he's also on fire. Hey, it's, uh, yeah. It's in Ustenki culture to be in the heat of battle or something <laughs> along those lines. Okay. Mm -hmm. Something, something battle riches the soul. Ustenki, Ustenki live for it. Hmm. So I, I, I re-brought out my, my special D&D &D mug. It's like a big flagon and it makes oh. me happy. Oh. Mm. Okay, starting this off, Morenthal, as the door seals in front of you and you hear Faley begin to move some furniture, there's a, a, a kind of weird snarl and snapping sound as the top layer of wood peels back, revealing a, a toothy maw as this uh, this mimic begins to lurch forward towards Faley. <clears throat> uh, oh, what is, why, why have we done this? What have we gotten ourselves into? Uh... Okay, uh, I'm gonna, seeing this, I'm going to assume that it's just, and considering the door just shut mm -hmm. in front of me, uh, I'm just going to immediately shoot okay. at it. Shoot an arrow at this splintering wood creature that has started to yeah. stick to failing. It's, 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 its mouth is kind of opening like the, the piano in Super Mario 64. Kind of, but it but it's just like splitting the top <laughs> level of the, the like wood off. Here we go. First roll. Was um, it twelve? Hit? Twelve is its AC. It's it's a big table, you know. So you do get that crit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. In that case, uh, <clears throat> twenty-seven 
38 30 damage. damage. Very nice Jesus. opening shot. Huh. It's, and yeah, then it dies, dead, right? Dead. Yeah, oh, the and door I'm, opened too. Yeah, look yeah, at that. Uh, <laughs> Amazing. But after shooting that, I'm just going to look back towards the door and, and get ready to start inspecting the keyhole okay. next turn. Uh, with that, we'll go over to Coil. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna rage on the table. Despite all my rage, still just a... <laughs> God, there's something there. There's something there. Uh, I'm I was choking and like now I'm like, do I really want to though? <laughs> it would be a very funny image. It it would be. I I think for now we're gonna we're gonna exhibit some restraint. Um. <laughs> And we're gonna we're gonna go and just let's see. I'm sorry, they changed the, mm -hmm. the everything now. Um, I can move to. Ooh. We're going to attack it. Get that boy. 23 does hit. Awesome. And I think I... Do I get an extra attack? Yeah, I do. I have extra attack. We hit it again. 19 also hits. Oh, and this is without 19? rage, right? So it's just the 8 and... Without... Oh, you're you right. No, you're I good. You're good. Uncheck that. So yeah, take those off. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're, you're, you're beating the shit out of this table. It's it's already starting to splinter. <laughs> um, and... <laughs> We're gonna yeah. turn it into making fire. making good progress of it. Anything else? All no, right. The table's turn. <laughs> no, no. Can't play <laughs> <now>. <laughs> I can't believe you. You made it's it nice. a table. Like a I'm sorry, I thought of that, that like at the start you? of this that I had to figure out a way to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. As uh, uh as as. As this is moving around and kind of like getting hit by these multiple attacks, Faley, your hands are still like glued to the top of uh, its like upper lip, basically. Um, and yeah, yeah, you're just cool, kind of just being Thanks. dragged um, with it. But because it has you, in its do I take any damage from that? Or... <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> where's my D twenty? Oh, there it is. Um, so it's gonna make. Uh, it's gonna make two attacks against Coil. It's gonna it's gonna scooch over. It's scooching oh, it's over, good. and it's going to do two attacks on you. These kind of like um, it, it kind of like tongue like pseudopods kind of come out of its mouth, and they're just kind of barbed and covered with these like teeth that are sprouting up out of random spots in it, and they just lash out at you. Um. Let's do First like. one is for 18, second one's 25 to hit. Both All right. hit. Uh... Okay, um, both of them are for 12, so 24 total. Um, 24 total? I should have ranged, okay. And uh, right. let, me just, let me just let me just let me just double check here real quick. Uh, I think you're grappled. Uh huh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. By a tongue. Wow. Uh, let me let me just let me just double Thank check that real quick. I could be I could be wrong. I so I did I, my, I did my little footnotes, but I didn't. <laughs> it's it's been like a week. Since I looked at him. <laughs> Honestly, that just doesn't sound um, that bad. You're good. You are good. You are not. It's a grappled. table. It is. It is just Faley <laughs> oh, okay. who touched Damn. the the the, the table That's form of the middle. Plenty of legs. <laughs> I see. Legs all the way down to the floor. Um, but as for Faley, um, as as these kind of two uh -huh. tongues lash out, it pulls itself forward, and that. <laughs> It, it like lifts you off the ground so you're hanging by the top of its mouth and it just lowers you into its mouth with a bite. Um, 
And it has advantage because you're grappled by it. Uh, natural 20. Good. <gasps> oh, yeah. Good, real mm -hmm. good. That's not good. Um. Uh. Um, 15 piercing damage and 8 acid damage. Oh, okay. As it just kind of starts to gnaw you and, like, you just kind of push against it to get yourself back on the ground out of its mouth, but, uh, that hurt. <laughs> and that is its turn. A little bit. Gilnick. Would I be able to use the help action for Faley to get out of the grapple? Absolutely. You can give, um, uh, So, so normally escaping from um, a creature with adhesive is disadvantage on the escape, so it'll be just a flat roll if you use your help. Oh, okay. Hmm. Action, no. Does this thing appear to have eyes? Many. Many, yeah. Okay, well then, instead, I will do this thing where Gelnick is going to take his new maraca hammer and uh, his drum shield and boom, 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 thrust the hammer in the, the air in a flash of light, and I'm going to cast Blindness oh. Deafness at... Yeah, there we go. Con save. So it is a con save. He DC rolled a 12. 14. So... And I, he will be blinded. His attacks uh, will be made at disadvantage, and attacks against it will be at advantage uh, unless it makes it save in the next minute. And with my bonus action, Gelnek is going to drum the drum of his people and give Faley a uh, bardic inspiration. You are inspired, Faley. Correct. You may add a d8 to any roll you wish. And now it's your turn. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Perfect. Um. Oh, boy. Since he's doing a little bit of moving around... Uh, can I firewall him? Firewall? Absolutely. Or wall of fire, rather. Wall of fire. Um. If you want, you can draw where you, you place the fire. Yeah, I'm just looking at my spells real quick. So it's level four, and I want to make sure. Okay, I do have one level four slot. Okay. Uh, it is. I see the range. Five feet? Up to two creatures within five feet? How big is this lad? Uh, he's, he's about ten feet across. Also, apparently my mic has is, is weirdly ahead. So I need to put like a half second delay. Is that is this accurate? There. Can we pretend that's fire? Oh. Uh, DC 16. One second, sorry. No, it's fine. Okay, I put a little delay on my mic. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Apparently, o OBS has just borked up my audio systems uh, in the past, like, day or two. Uh, but yeah, okay, so you, you, you draw some fire. Mm -hmm. And it is a dexterity saving throw. I dropped my dice. <laughs> uh, a five, so he fails. Good. Good for him, honestly. <clears throat> you love to see it. Where's my dice? <laughs> how, how long is oh, a minute no. roughly in game like do i should i use Ten my turns. bardic inspiration here for extra damage oh okay we're good then um for 32 damage fire nice yeah um, this thing just like the fire just catches it easily quick and like even though it's like a it's a illusory or mimicked form of this wooden table it's it's catching just like you would expect and Within seconds, this thing is just, like, falling to, to pieces. Um, you do notice, though, as this fire is raging, um, 
the carpet under your feet, Coil, begins to shift and pull and yank itself away. Um, oh. Quite rapidly. I'm going to need you to make a strength it's saving throw. Too? Oh, boy. Okay. I didn't I realize we were in the Beauty and the Beast castle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just killed the, uh, the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I don't remember does Barbarian get Zaldin gonna make an appearance I get advantage on dexterity <laughs> not strength okay even the right organization yeah. member could yeah. pull <laughs> 17. 17 you stay on your feet months. as the carpet pulls itself away um, I'm gonna give it a dexterity saving throw it manages to avoid the fire um and it oh, just kind of twirls cool. itself up into the, like what you would imagine is a, a curled up, you know, rug laying against the wall, but it is animated directly across from you. That's incredible. Um, and it's going to get added to the initiative as well. That it's less cute. Sweet. Those things are really heavy. <laughs> okay. Um, and who that was? That was Faley's turn, correct? All yes. right. That is correct, and that's the end of mine. And then we have Hobson. Um, you see the, the table start to crumble, and just, like, the life leaves its many eyes as this rug appears before you now. Okay. <laughs> now, we, we've covered this before. I've just forgotten. What, what qualifies as an inanimate object where my sword is concerned? This adamantine it, short it's, sword. It's basically what it says on the tin like it, it's it's walls furniture and stuff like that and in this instance i can see the confusion these are creatures disguised as i see as okay and i guess even if it was just a magically enchanted thing then it's kind of magically animated to right? some degree uh, yeah. yeah so okay in that case uh i think hobson will move over are these piles of treasure you got is there actually like elevation to them towards or, like the center uh, so like over here and maybe like in the center here they're they're kind of like rised up but maybe like a foot or two nothing like aladdin or anything but uh they're substantial gotcha. piles of gold okay uh yeah hobson kind of scoots over toward this one here and uh uh fires some eldritch blasts at the rug yeah there's <laughs> one <laughs> Uh, attack of 11 and the second one with attack of 15. Um, the 11 goes wide. It, it hits part of the bookshelf and some of the, the pages kind of scatter and just fall to the floor. Uh, the second one, direct hit for 12 nice. damage. Yeah. Um, take that rug. <laughs> you, you told him. <laughs> I can, actually, I can imagine Hobson just saying that to <laughs> the confusion of like, take that r rug. <laughs> rug, rug. Um, can you do a quick perception <laughs> check right. for me, Hobson? Absolutely. Uh, um, well. As you kind of get some vantage on these coins, um, you look down and there's a few coins sticking mm -hmm. to your boots and you can see the tops of the coins peel to <laughs> tiny little mouths. Um, and... <laughs> Are you kidding oh me? Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> I just really walked into cute. this How did I like, fucking know? Into a piranha whirlpool of money. <laughs> <laughs> Can we keep one? This really is the cave, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so these <laughs> these little there's like oh, there's like 50 up. or so of these things that are that are starting to like animate around you <laughs> just kind of like the more you move the more they're kind of latching onto you and, and crawling towards you with, like, small little, like, pseudopod tongues sticking out of the, like, split coin. Um, I'll add <laughs> them to the initiative, too. No. <laughs> so the audio experience for everyone else for this has been just sort of, like, shoom, shoom, big, fi like, firing blasts, bam. Take that, rug. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and back to the top, Morenthal. There's stuff happening. <laughs> there sure is. That there, that, 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 that there is. Um, before I 
Shit. Okay, before I do anything, um, this keyhole, um, I'm just gonna shout out, has anyone seen a key? <laughs> Has anyone? Bailey just shouts back no. Can we look is for a gonna, key? Is it going to have teeth too? Uh, That's a good question. We should start asking that about everything we, <laughs> everything before we touch it. Yeah, that's a good question. Um. Uh, I'm just gonna look to the. It, are these the chests to yeah, my left? Are, there are or three. Are these the bookshelves? Chests. They're like maybe two and a half feet tall. <sighs> uh, what's the bet? It's in one of these. Those have to be made um, too, though. Yeah. <laughs> Watch, they're the only okay. things in here that aren't. Dan is so I, happy I, right I now. Is Dan would do. <laughs> that is something Dan would do. Um. <laughs> Okay, let's deal with the big threats first, I guess, and then we can find the key. Last thing we want is more things falling down upon us. Uh, okay. <clears throat> so the rug creature. Okay, real then. quick, Gam. This is not related to the game. Yes, can you go Dan. one, two, three, four, and I'll do five in the same like time. Okay. And chat help me when for the timing of this. So go ahead. Are you ready? One, two, three, five. Four. How, how was that, chat? Pretty close on my end. Yeah, sounded really good here. I think I think it's just it's just oh, my man. OBS has been like out of whack. Five came before four. Oh boy. Oh. Slap a delay on there. Thank God you're adding it in OBS, not in Discord, because for me your fight your five came on like seven for me. Oh. That's the Australian internet, baby. Oh yeah. Oh no. For Let's me go. it was pretty good on time. Okay. I put I put a little delay on it, but I think at that point it's mm -hmm. can, it's it's good. Do you it's close again? <laughs> Do you want to test again? Sure, let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five. How was that chat? Everybody in the clubs up on that. I pulled Nailed up it. the audio on stream and it sounded good. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened with my audio, but everything's way off lately. As you were, your turn, sir. Really don't <clears throat> okay, uh, uh, rug monster. Mm -hmm. Rug monster? Uh, but it wasn't a rug. A rug monster. <laughs> rug monster. <laughs> uh, we'll do a classic. Uh, would you say that Saren is within five feet of it? Because it's technically... Um, no. They have to be basically, like, touching to be within five feet. Yeah. I was I was wondering that. Okay, we'll just go a standard bow to it then. Okay. Fingers crossed. Oh! Fucking oh, crit, shit. baby! Does a 27 hit, Dan? <laughs> no, just missed. You need 28. Oh, yeah. damn. It's weird, because okay. Hobson's, like, That'll 12 be... hit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 20 damage on it, then. Um... And I'm going to slowly move myself just over here. Okay. And begin the thought process. I end my turn. Um. It it the, the rug's doing rough. Uh, it's it's becoming un unfrayed, you know. Um. And it's going to kind of dart over here as the closest figure it sees is is the little Gelneck. Um, and it's going to unravel itself and open up and then just try to close around you, Gelnek. Um... It's me, creature! <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh... Does a 15 hit? It does not. Oh! It tries to close in on you and you just bat it back enough where it's... it's It looks like it's, it's becoming loose and like... It, it, its threads are starting to show wear and tear, and you can easily kind of just push it off. Um, I imagine and... it tries to close in, and it does, like, completely wrap him, but Gelnick is completely fine. Oh, you foolish creature! You cannot hurt me with your measly attacks! <laughs> it's, like, closed, but you can still see out of, like, the holes in it and everything. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're not smothered by it at all. Um, that Gelnick is doesn't turn. hear me, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> Coil, you are up. 
You're saying that the rug looks pretty bad already? Yeah, like... I, I, I keep trying to say afraid not somewhere in here, but I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How fucking dare uh, you? But it, yeah, it's it's dead, would you say that not. rug is in peak condition? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's looking rough. It's looking rough. All right, all right, all right. Um, he's he's going to go over here then and help Hobson with the, the tiny coins. Okie dokie. Uh, um, yeah, they're they're just swarms of them. Hmm. I mean, I hope they're not actually... Uh... God, their AC is going to be super high, isn't it? All right, well, let's, let's, let's try stabbing one. Oh, that's not going to do it. Ten misses. You, you, you cleave through and you, you hit just like actual treasure in the room. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds about right. Well, at least we know there is actual treasure in there now. How about 22? 22 definitely hits. All right. Let's say I'm going for this guy then. The one on the top left. You you slice through a, a few of the coins and like, uh, it, it's just kind of, it's like a, almost like imagine like a swarm of insects. Like you kind of cleave oh. through them and they kind of scatter and join the other uh, colonies that are kind of, bothering Hobson right now. <clears throat> Lovely. Okay, that's his turn. All right. The little guys. <laughs> the little guys. Uh, they're still going to pester the little guys. Uh, kind of hit the hornet's nest here. And I'm going to go for you, Dan. <laughs> um, A 19 to hit and a 12 to hit. Uh... Yes to the first, no to the second. Yeah, well, take two points of damage. Fine. <laughs> um, <clears throat> a few of them get up oh, past shit. your boots, and you can now feel like tiny little like teeth and fangs kind of like piercing into the sides of your calves um, as they're actually like making puncture wounds. There's a lot of them, uh, and and a lot of them aren't doing much, but they're they're a nuisance. It, yeah, it seems more the kind of thing that is scary than painful. Yeah. Just sort of like, ah. And it's one of those, like, like, if you were to go lay down and make, you know, like, angel, like a snow angel in the coins, you'd probably be in a much worse situation than just the few you've just disturbed. <laughs> um, table's dead, so back to Gelneck. Mm -hmm. Seeing as this rug <laughs> deems to surround me, I am going to uh, bang on my drum, boom, 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 and do a little bit of a thunderclap. Uh, I yeah, Constitution saving throw. Oh, that's kind of a low roll. Oh well. Uh, Constitution saving. Why am I rolling off the table? Well, he nat one, so. Hooray! Woo! And uh, let's see, yeah, just a little bit of banging. A little bit of banging, and like you're you're still in it, so I think like the it, it's kind of like holding in the reverberations and it kind of just like you see burst of fabric kind of come out from the the side surrounding you and it just slumps to the floor almost like fully unraveled uh that's not the right button and he's dead it oh nice is anybody feeling hurt um i'm good emotionally <laughs> Okay, well, that's maybe well, at like two thirds health, but like not trouble. I'm gonna go and help out the lads and come help surround lads. these boys. Lads, That'll be my lads, turn. Lads, lads. Since I cast a spell. Uh, sorry, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Sorry. Okay. Faily. Okay. Um. Is that fire like, still going, by the way? It is, so. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. I think so. Yeah, I think you can choose to dispel if you want. I was just curious for for my my ear, uh, you know, the, move the here. visual palace in my mind. And then I'm going to... 
I can't find anything now. Uh, guiding bolt onto this guy. Absolutely. And I'm going to cast oh, it Lord. at level three. Whoa. And probably not hit. 11 just goes wide, so like you hit and scatter some coins to the wall, and there's just kind of like this bright shine around the three of you in the gold pile. Um, and you kind of <laughs> like almost like flash banged from the glare of treasure. Um, cool. <laughs> <laughs> cool and good. That's it. That's it. All right. Yeah. Back to Hobson. Yeah. Um, I think Hobson For... the smart thing to do would be to cast a spell first but he's too panicky Hobson <laughs> definitely kind of like kind of like ah, ha, ha, scrambles out of the uh, money pile a couple of steps and uh, casts armor of Agathus on himself Okay, they do fall. They do stick to your legs as you as you run out. <laughs> oh no! Well, that's good because that means you technically haven't disengaged. That's true. <laughs> if they're still stuck to you, yeah. <laughs> and that I think would be my turn, though. Okay, that is your turn. All right, Morenthal. Okay. Um. <clears throat> He wants out of here. Uh, more so than dealing with the small creatures. <sighs> now, tell me, Dan, is there anything visually distinct about these three chests, or are they completely identical? Give me a investigation check. Please. 14. They seem identical. There's there's no change in the chain pattern at their side. There, there's no slow breathing. Uh, they they the look like three movement. iron chests. They all are locked on the front with a big, just like casual, normal looking lock you'd expect to see. Gilnet, give me a number between one and three. <laughs> Gilnet starts counting on his fingers. <laughs> Who? I am going to move forward and cautiously. Okay, would he do? Yeah, he would. He'd be he'd be paranoid after seeing what's happened to the rest of this room with mimics. I'm going to stab the chest. Um, okay. Instead of touching it and opening it, so I'm just gonna. Uh, would it count? Now here's a question. It would count for assassinate, wouldn't it? Because it. If it is a creature, it hasn't taken a turn, so I'd be able to assassinate it. I would say in this instance, no, because part of assassinating is they need to be surprised. True. In this, this, this very rare instance, I feel like if they are mimics, there has been combat nearby them and they are probably yeah, they're, 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 Yeah, they're anticipating an attack. You're right. Okay. Shit. Okay, let's go for the middle one. Does a 20 hit? A 20 does hit. <laughs> what happens when I hit this middle chest, Dan? Uh-oh. Dan's waiting, which <laughs> scares me. reading real quick. He's <laughs> <laughs> just reading and preparing the token. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, as, you, as you stab it with this dagger, um, it does awaken. A, a big central eye comes out of its like open mouth, like right below the lock. Um, these little like pseudopod tendrils kind of come out at its side, and you are greeted with the face of a mimic. It does take the six piercing damage right off the bat. Yep. In that case, can I use my offhand dagger to attack as well on the second? Uh, sure. Yeah, go for it. Since I now know that it's actually real <laughs> 20 with that one with the Persian dagger both both daggers successfully hit and you go to pull mm. back and they don't come back with you 
Yep, didn't think the, so. The daggers, I mean, like, you can let go of the daggers. But the daggers he's are in He's not letting go the of the daggers. <laughs> he's, he's not letting go of the daggers. Okay, okay. He's just gonna shout out, WRONG ONE! <laughs> um, so that's for... Just eight damage total, I think? Uh, ten. Six. Ten? Oh, because the, 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 the purge, right? Uh, anything else? Uh, no. He's holding onto the daggers on the, on, in, stuck inside this mimic whilst desperately screaming out that Gelnick chose wrong. <laughs> oh, no! But what was number four? <laughs> Gelnick completely clueless and not <laughs> connecting the, the two. <laughs> Alright. Um, Rug is dead. Uh, as it awakens... It's immediately uh, going to counterattack. Mm-hmm. It's funny. I have all these mimics written down, and I keep losing track which one I'm looking at. <laughs> that's great. That's great. That's that's, <laughs> that's great. really fun. Um, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna make an attack on you. Are you still holding the? He daggers? Doesn't have to. Oh yeah, I'm still holding the daggers, which okay. is a big so I'm, mistake, I'm a but it's not up to me. I'm, so I, I, for the sake of this, I'm going to consider that as you're, you're being grappled because you're, you're yeah. being controlled by its movements. I'd agree with that. Uh, 21 to hit. I think you mean, I think you mean, shit. Does, could I, could I uncanny dodge that? I mean, you could, but that's just, that's just a hit. So the uncanny dodge is yeah. for the damage. I'm am just thinking because I'm I'm thinking how much it's gonna hurt. It's 21. Well, you can, obviously you can wait, hit. I believe, until the damage number is revealed. Yeah, 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 yeah. 21 hits, obviously. Uh, 11 piercing and four acid. That's a, why is so it 15, always acid? So it would be seven if you uncannied. Why is it always acid? Um, no, he, I'm not gonna dodge that. So 15 total. 15 total. Uh. But that is okay. the Well, that's good. Okay. Uh, Coil, you are up. Okay. Mm. Can I even help now? Nope. <laughs> um, we're just gonna... We're gonna work on these coins then. Um... Yeah, good luck, Morinthal. <laughs> good luck. <laughs> good luck. Um, we're gonna we're gonna stab some coins. We're gonna try mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. Seventeen and eighteen. Which one did you hit? Uh, we're gonna go with the top one. All right, you 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 scatter those coins. You, a few of them get sliced in half, yeah. and you see like as they kind of hit, they just turn into these like little like baby Cronenberg little slime things. Ah. Oh. Um. No Sad longer cute. keeping their. <laughs> No longer keeping Aww. the like shiny gold uh, color to them. These aren't the ones still attached to Hobson, are they? Is Coil swinging a sword at Hobson trying to hit all yeah, the shiny money? There's ones that are biting you, and then there's ones that are trying to bite you that are kind of just <laughs> swarming you. Like you're 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 in the like the money tube where the the air is like the the dollar bills are blowing around you, <laughs> but with gold coins that have teeth. But yes, yes, Coil is swinging a sword dangerously close to Hobson. Yeah. It's fine. But Coil's good at it. <laughs> it's like, Hobson, don't move. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you did two attacks, right? So did you want to do one-one? Yes. One? All right. Um, yes. You you clear through the two of them. Um, there's still a few on you, Hobson, um, but the, the swarms have dissipated around you. Hooray. Yay. Anything else for Coil? Yeah, let me scrape them off your leg. Oh. <laughs> no, but no, he's, his turn's done. All right. Gilnick. Okay. Uh, Gilnick is going to uh, go help Morenthal. And. I, uh, Gilnick must correct this mistake that he has apparently made. Ah! And smash it twice with his hammer. Yeah, nice. Okay. 
Huh? 18. 18 hits. 18 is going to hit, and it's going to do uh, uh, eight. Um, we're going to use the left number since he's one-handing it. And he's going to smack it again. 21. Yeah, wow. let's go. And a nine. Uh, Apologies, oh. Morenthal. Here is traditional apology dance. Do, 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 do. And it's going to give you bardic inspiration, Morenthal. Quick, quick question. <laughs> Can you roll one more attack for me? Uh, that second oh. one I should have said had disadvantage. Oh, okay. All right. <gasps> well, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> so, and you were you were two-handing it, right? Uh, no, one-handing. So we're... Uh, okay, so, so four like, and nine? Four and nine, yes. All right. Uh, and I, with my bonus action, give Morenthal the traditional Ustenki apology dance. Um, and and you're you're noticing the same thing as Morenthal's like daggers are like pulling back that hammer that first time like took way more strength than you were expecting and there's almost like a like a residue connecting it to the mimic. Uh, but you're mm. you're able to free it. It just looks like it's kind of slowing down the assault. Oh, gooey. Ugh. It's it's a it's a sticky yeah. gooey boy. Um. Yes, Morenthal, you have uh, a D8 for the next minute to use on anything. Oh, thank God. Uh, and then we'll go to Faley. Okay, I'm go. Oh, is the only thing that's alive all the way over there? At the moment, yes. Oh, God, I hate that you said that. Um... Lisa, no, okay. off. Was that? I mean, there's stuff around you if you want to look around, yeah. you know. I sure I'm, don't. I'm scared of any. I'm, I'm scared move. of any long range attack from Faley. I know. I'm sorry. I'm gonna move. I can move. Oh, five, ten, forty, right? Uh, whatever your speed is. I think default it should be thirty, unless you have. Okay. Yeah. No, stuff. you're right. Thirty. Uh, I guess I can go to about here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna cast guiding bolt. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm going to do my best. Get ready to duck. 13 does hit. 13 does hit. Yeah, oh. It doesn't the hit mimic, for much. Right? You were uh, targeting the mimic, right? Yes. <laughs> 13 damage. And and as you hit, the the starlight sticks to it and this kind of like shimmer in front of your face, uh, Morenthal and Gelnick, as as it's kind of glittering with like... it's It's been bedazzled. <laughs> so we've just been flashbanged so, by so, sparkles. <laughs> The next attack, you'll have advantage on, which if you use the same weapons you attacked with it, it'll be a flat roll. Okay. Okay. Well, that's nice. Um, and that was for 13 damage. I'm like, I'm like very slow on math today. Okay. It's looking rough. It's looking rough. It's starting to lose some of the, like, the properties of what you would expect a mimic chest to look like. It's kind of getting more goopy. Hobson. All right, I'm no longer being slowly eaten by money. Yes. Yes. Um, cool. I think with the armor of Agathis, we don't have to like take from the armor, but like the few kind of connecting to you, maybe like take little bites and just little burst of cold energy, kind of just freeze them solid <laughs> as they like kind of <laughs> pop off of you. Um, a little bug zapper now. Yeah, you have you basically you, made yeah you turned yourself into a bug zapper. <laughs> uh, but you are you are free of the the pests. Okay, with that peace of mind, uh, Hobson will try to fire some, uh, well, pro actually, take <laughs> thinking he's being smart, he'll take another step away from the, uh, actually, he'll take a step in this direction. Okay. Uh, hopefully not touch anything on the way uh, and try to fire some Eldritch Blasts at the increasingly gooey Mimic Chest thing. And you have advantage on this first hit. Huzzah. Okay. Uh, Advantage on the first one. 19 to hit. 8 damage. 19 hits. Yep. It's and, it's hanging on by a thread. And the second, 22 to hit. 14 damage. With that with that blast of force energy, you kind of just like um, peel back a bit of it. Like, I don't know why I just reference like movies. The Terminator 2, you know, like he gets hit by the shotgun and it just kind of like splatters an area clean. Yeah. And it like goes Ooh. to reform, but it like can't quite... Um, Morenthal and Gelnick, as you're there, can you both give me a perception check? Ooh, yes, sir. Ooh. Indeed. Six. 
Morenthal, you're just happy to to one didn't get hit by the guiding bolt from earlier. Um, but you're you're you yep. don't have the good angle uh, that Gelnex sees as this kind of like sprays away. You can see a glint of like um, blackish metal um, getting pulled away from the like alien flesh of this mimic that is like slowly getting covered over just by like the the corpse moving. Um, but it catches your eye. Um, and for the moment, there is nothing threatening the party. You guys do so, it? I'm so sorry. Can you describe that one more time? I think I just like phased out of existence <laughs> mentally. Um, you, you just catch a glint of like a blackish metal object that's like was within the mimic that got exposed by the Eldritch Blast. And it's like slowly getting covered up, so it's gonna like be hard to find, but you notice it. Ah. What would Morenthal do? <laughs> I mean, if Morenthal saw it, he would immediately reach and grab for it, but he didn't see shit. Right, right, right. But we're out of combat, so we'll we you can move freely at this moment until maybe something happens. Yeah. Until someone right. touches one of the other chests. In the spirit of learning from my friends and their natures, I'm going to reach in to try and grab that black glistening thing. Easy enough to do with the, the the sticky properties of the mimic seem to no longer be like actively working against you. Uh, you find this this ornate key that almost looks like it has like um like a crest instead of like a um like an actual like uh what 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 are the like. The little dangly parts on the key, like the, I don't know what those would be called, but instead of the like a normal part. key, it looks like there's like big crest at the end, like a metal crest. Oh, I like the hilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you or, mean no, the, the... no, like a, like imagine if you were like to stamp with it, it's like ah, uh. and it fits that or that odd design at the door. It's like you can immediately oh, see okay. when Skelnik retrieves it. Perhaps not wrong choice after all. And I'm gonna try it on the door. You you slide in this this ornate key. It fits perfectly in the carved stone. Um, and there is like a, a just a pulse of uh, energy and there's like a, a small rumble to the door and the door slides back into the slot. Uh, before that, Trilby, it was only, uh, you know, maybe like less than a minute. Were you doing anything in that time? Yeah, I was playing with marbles. Okay, so you, <laughs> Gelnick, you open this door to find Trilby just kind of like, like squatting, playing with some marbles against the side stone walls. Like, <laughs> he also drew a picture of himself and Scrubbins. It's very wall. beautiful. I'll put it on the fridge. I gotta show chat. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Ah, practicing stratagems. Very clever use of time. Oh yeah, hi. Uh, mm. For for the record, that's pitch black for me as I was drawing that, Dan. <laughs> so it was like playing Gartic phone, where I was like, I can't see this as I'm drawing it. I I do love that. Thank uh, you. Uh, but yeah, you guys uh you guys safely got rid of all the mimics in the room that Quite we know still, of. So we should open uh, more chests then. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Coil is definitely still kind of uh, walking around and stepping on coins suspiciously. Oh, you are? Yes. Okay. Um, Intentionally. You, we'll, we'll say, for the sake of, of, of time, there's a lot of these little coin suckers, and you, you kind of <laughs> dispatch them as you go. Um, give me... We'll just do, like, a d20 roll. Um, 15 or right. higher, you take no damage... Uh, 15 to 10, I'll roll damage twice. Anything below, I'll roll damage four times. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you you shuffle through. A bunch of these swarms kind of come out, and you just dispatch them quickly. Like they're you 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 can squish them in your hands like like nothing. Um, yeah. it's just their numbers when they become a threat. But there, you awesome. you probably guesstimate just walking through that pile for a bit. There was maybe like a few hundred of them. Oh boy. He's having fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is like squishing in like puddles on the rain. <laughs> Those like mimic coins. Mm -hmm. 
Anyone want to touch the chests? No. <laughs> oh, oh, now you don't want to. I'm sorry. Actually, before we do, not that this would help with Mimic specifically, but Gelnick, with his new Paladin multiclass, is going to use Divine Sense. Ooh. Mm. So basically, I'm going to see if I can detect any Celestial, Fiend, or Undead within 60 feet of us. Celestial, Fiend, or Undead. Um... Like, stand in the middle of the room and just, like, um, do a little drum on his drum shield. You you do not catch any any blips. There nothing nothing seems around you. Okay. Um and we did yeah. already have hops in, in the room with a, de- a te- detect magic that um picked up only the torches. Okay. No, this does not necessarily help us with mimics cuz I'm pretty sure mimics are monstrosities, but hey, no uh no devils. At least, <laughs> yeah, at least there's no devils here. Anybody need any healing? Yeah. <coughs> because Coil is helpful. He's going to start scratching furniture. <laughs> <laughs> Good dog. Okay, what do you start scratching? <laughs> he's going to scratch this. I don't know if this is a bookshelf. It's or a what bookshelf. This is. Okay, yeah, he's going to scratch the side. Okay, uh, the bookshelf does come to life. <laughs> he's just raking scratch his bookshelf down. There, you scratch <laughs> Let's just do let's just do a, a few rolls here. We'll just just we don't have to get into combat or anything. Um, and <laughs> as, as this kind of it comes to life, all the books slide out of it and just fall, and it starts to just kind of batter you. So so just give me like four attack rolls against it, and, and I'll give it a few. All right. Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, you, that's enough damage. You, you chew through this thing. It does get a few nicks on you, um, Mm -hmm. with its, let's see, uh, so the, the, you, you squabbling with this bookshelf, uh, hit you for (laughs) 13 piercing and six acid. Okay. And and just as the rest of you start to walk out of the room, you can hear this ruckus and see just see Coil wildly slashing at this bookshelf that's now animated and stepping over the corpses of its dead <laughs> companions. <sighs> um, is, but you, you is, do notice all the books that are like oh, that fell um are just like open and like looking at them they all seem blank like the few that have scattered oh, and fake. revealed themselves to be open i see okay is, is coil okay <laughs> you get it out coil you get it all out well we've gone through all the trouble already yeah uh, might as well Okay, who who needs who needs healing? Kirby holds out his little healer bee. <sighs> Does it work on me? He's gonna... It works on anyone, I think. I'm sure. Okay, Coil, here you go. And he holds out the palm of his hand. He goes but 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 fifteen. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the fight with the bookshelf never happened. Look at that. I'm just gonna sheepishly slowly put my hand up just like I only have two charges left so six (laughs) thanks you still hurting I'll be fine have a bonbon Every time I imagine Trilby giving Morinvol a, a bonbon, it's the case of like he's pushing it into his lips. Yeah, <laughs> like lips are closed. He's just mm. pushing it into his mouth. <laughs> You'll feel better. Come on. If Fela, you said but... you needed one. That'd be great. Here you go. You get a better one. Thank you. <laughs> Though I do have a suggestion. If we clear Is this it room open the out, other chest? <laughs> if we clear this room out of threats, it's a good place to rest. I ain't sleeping in there. 
if, if we clear out all the threats, it would be secure. How will we know if we cleared them all out? What if the Why floor is a mimic? <laughs> if the floor is a mimic, it would have killed us by now. Is that... Does anybody, is that how they work? Not to worry, strangely dressed man. Gelneck has very, very strong feats. We'll be able to stomp out any floor mimics, potentially. I guess... Mm. Trubby hesitantly takes his first step into the room. The torch attacks him. Uh. No, I'm just <laughs> 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 the torch is a mimic. Uh, Trubby, you finally you see wanna... what everyone else has been fighting in. Uh, on the back, there are these three, uh, like, small, like desks with a few like spell regions and stuff and scrolls that are they're stacked on them there's now only one large bookshelf to the right uh two chests and then a bunch of like misshapen kind of living furniture that is dead and there's also a smoldering uh ruins of a table that doesn't smell pleasant now that it's actually like kind of burnt through the, the exterior of the mimic um but a pretty secure looking room it's a good thing I have read about mimics, or I'd be very concerned about you all right now. What if you... What if you read? Uh, they mimic the shape of things, and then they get you. Uh -huh. I had a you bedtime know. story that gave me nightmares about a mimic bed. Did it say anything about how to, uh... Identify one? No, it just ate a little boy and then a butcher came in and stabbed it to death. Was the wasn't... boy still inside? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wasn't a very good book. Okay. Was the book itself a mimic? Ah, ah the classic. <laughs> the bed bit the butcher's boy. I love that one. Classic. <laughs> The bed that bitch the bed that bit the butcher's boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and other spooky tales to tell in the dark. Alright, we making camp here or what? What else do we have to stab before we can sleep? Uh half the money, two three shelves, two chests. Um We've also only got till like tomorrow before uh our buddies outside go running for help, assuming we're dead. Yeah, that is true. Maybe we shouldn't rest. <laughs> Maybe a short rest? A short rest, right? It's an yeah. hour. Yeah. A little tiny rest. I feel like rest we have right here like in the that. center of the room away from everything. <laughs> <laughs> back to back to back to back <laughs> to back. <laughs> sure, we don't touch anything. I won't. Scrubbins, no! <laughs> <laughs> just jumps the over all the gold Scrubbin. and all the chest. <laughs> just flies over here, chomp. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> so what would you guys like to do? Would you like to take short rest, long rest, bunker down for eight hours? Do you get um, any recharges for a short rest? Uh, I don't think Artificer does. Cool. Yeah, I, I think it's. I do, which is nice, but I don't know about anyone else. I think you should get my Warlock Bardic Inspirations like back. A, speci a specific amount for wizards, but I think that's it for spells. Well, good thing I have a spell refueling ring. But, uh, the, the... but your call, your call. It's also, um, I don't think it was super late when you got in here. So keep in mind, a long rest is only eight hours. Uh, it's not a 24 thing so even if you did take a long rest you would have plenty of time before you know the prisoners that are waiting in the uh, sewers below would make their bolt for it I do feel like a long rest would be nice okay yeah I, I feel like I'm just worried that you know we can do this and you know we can do this in a few hours and then suddenly everything goes astray I'm willing to risk it Long rest. Long rest. <laughs> are we are we are we checking all the furniture first? Oh, probably, <clears throat> right? Anything that's close to where we set up camp. 
probably wise. Well, it'll be everything in this room. I'll say with your your guys' thorough inspection of the room, you eliminate any outstanding threats in the room. Yes, all the tables, the bookshelf, <laughs> and the two other chests were mimics, uh, but you 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 dispatch them as you you tackle one at a time. And when when you all are like aimed on a thing, it's it's pretty easy to take care of them one by one. Um, if you want to go through the piles of gold again, you could do it. They probably just nip at you. And since you're going into a long rest, we'll we'll say the process just might take like an hour or two of going through and eliminating everything. Um, mm-hmm. So we can say you guys safely dispatch everything in the room. Um, a few things you notice: the book titles are "How to Spot a Mimic," um, just <laughs> written in different fonts. Of course. Um, are the books all mimics too? No, the books are actually just books. Uh, the scrolls oh. that are all bundled up on the three desks are all blank. Um, oh, I was going to say, do the mm. scrolls just say, you're a fool? <laughs> you fool, Ice Trap. You fool. Um, other than that, there is there is gold and, and some like treasure amongst the room. Um, not as much as initially would have expected, but if you guys want to collect it, you can do that. And I'll oh, let absolutely. You know. All right. Yes, please. Oh, for uh, sure. There is. 793 pieces of gold amongst the the room some of its treasure or some of it's like silver and copper um some of it is like like there's like golden candelabras and stuff in there but it all amounts to that much once you gathered everything together that sounds good to me quick maths dividing amongst all of us is 132 and I think one Fair one of them was a mimic <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 130, 132 and then one left over so that one was oh. a mimic yeah okay. 132 gold yippee um for for my sake uh, your your favorite dm um what do you do with the study room that you came in from before you take your rest I think we just passed through there, didn't we? Yeah, like yeah. That, that was what how you found this room. It was yeah. a small little room. Uh, you unlocked a door to get in. There was some uh, decayed furniture and stuff, and there was the one pristine book that caught your eye. Can we like close the like superficially close the entrance to them getting in here so it can hide like that anyone came in here? You, you can close the wooden door easily enough. Uh, the stone right. door looks like it is, like, totally flush with the wall. Right. So, like, at um, least if someone, like, passed through the the old study, they wouldn't notice anything. Correct. Like, super off, yeah. And you did know it was locked when you guys came in here, I believe. Okay. I feel like Coyle would be satisfied with that. Yeah. I mean, if maybe we could do the old chair under the handle trick as well. The chairs Classic. actually weren't mimics. The chairs were actually chairs. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh. Wow. So, so Mim- surprising. It's the one thing mimics can't replicate. Chairs. Yeah, they don't know how. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like AI with hands. <laughs> <laughs> they don't like to be sat on. You know, that's their thing. Oh, uh, yeah. No beanbag chairs. No skibbity mimics. <laughs> oh, oh, God. When's that the us skibbity toilet mimics? Guess, I guess. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, other than Coil, uh, who who doesn't need to sleep, does anyone want to do shifts or watch through your rest? I'll, I'll do a few shifts, just wanting to make sure that being a little bit paranoid of mimics. Okay. Kelnek will take a shift. I volunteer scrubbins for a shift. <laughs> Does that work? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> well, you can keep so someone we'll, company during their shift. So we'll do uh, Coil and Gelnick first, if that's okay. Uh, Sounds good. Coil and Morenthal and Coil and <laughs> scrubbins. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. Everyone, everyone gets their, their long rest and a lot of time. Um... Anything, anyone doing anything before we take this rest? Nope. 
Uh, Trilby probably asks for a recap of what happened. Gelnek will tell the story and uh, decorate it with uh, <laughs> s slight exaggeration. Excellent. Hmm. Trilby gets his bedtime story. And there were seven rows of teeth. <laughs> okay. Um. As you as you lay down and take the night, I I just looked over at Discord. Are are you good, Nicole? I or, should should do my best. Would 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 you like to talk at the moment, or do you want a little break? I c I've got I can do it right now. Yeah. Okay. Um, as you all get some shut eye. Um, in the 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 safety of the the bunker room. Faley. Um. You you lay down. Um. The 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 wound of that 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 table bite still kind of like. Uh, burning at your side, you quickly fall asleep. And you, your, your, your sleep is troubled. You get flashes of imagery of just different locales that you're not familiar with. Um, before, like, almost like static, this vision starts to form in front of your face. You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path <laughs> is a cabin. Your movement is sluggish and your gait is awkward, almost unfamiliar. There's water dripping from your hair that's hanging in front of your eyes, obscuring your vision. You reach out and go to open for the door. The vision flickers again, and you blink, and you're racing through the woods, traveling faster than you'd expect, like an animal hunting a prey, as you reach a break in the trees and come to the base of a cliff. The sound of waves crashing against jagged rocks overwhelms your ears as you crawl through the twisted spires, getting out into the open ocean. Your vision cuts again. The water batters your body against the rocks. You can't feel the pain, but you can feel the frustration the desperation as you search and search and search and finally find it. A small satchel attached to the rock at the bottom of these knife-like spired rocks. The vision cuts to the cabin again, where you heft this wet satchel onto a small table. A fire lights up and starts to roar nearby. The shelves are cluttered and filled with small and unique oddities of all kinds, different books, spell components, um, jars with fluid and, and unfamiliar beings in them. Your hands reach out to the bag. They're unfamiliar and spider-like. Black, jagged, twisted nails struggle with the strap sealing the bag. A glint of pink catches your eye in your frustration as you fumble with the bindings. A necklace with a singular pink pearl, coiled in metal. The bag opens and a small ball of wet fabric is pulled out and held in your three hands. Size of a watermelon, it shifts awkwardly in your grasp as the fabric moves slowly without your aid. A struggle, a shift, a pulse, a heartbeat. And you blink and wake up to the, the, the room that you just found yourself in. Coil still over watch. Um, Morenthal has just taken over his shift and you are left awake. I'm just gonna immediately look at my hands. They look, you look like Foyley. You look just like you would expect. Kind of like looks around a little concerned, but seems to be a little bit relieved when her hands are, you know, not in the number of three. Mm hmm. You okay? Uh, y yeah, I just. Weird dream. I'm, I'm fine. Is everything going on okay here? Is, has anything happened? Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. She sure kinda, you're okay? Yeah, no, I'm I'm fine. Uh she kinda like scoots closer to where Coil's keeping watch. We're just gonna ask we're just gonna We're fine. Okay. As you go back to sleep, your your dreams are uninterrupted, and you get a, a, a pleasant rest of your your long rest. Um, now as for Hobson, yeah, 
you uh you have an odd sensation as you as you lay on this this smooth stone floor you kind of make yourself a little makeshift pillow with your pack and stuff um and almost moments after you close your eyes um you hear the sounds of a bustling city the bright sun hits your eyes as you reflexively shield yourself with your hand and you quickly take in your surroundings the ground is made of these finely paved red and orange orange cobblestone paths the buildings range from quaint to almost the same alien feeling that you felt in Northcliff. But instead of the sleek designs of the future, uh, these feel more homely, more cobbled together out of found materials. Uh, complex and unique design, but somehow it fits the entire vibe of the city. A deep valley to your left shows the expanse of a city below. It seems to be built within a mountain range and a, a circular like design uh, kind of follows the path down as you as you look further and further um, towards the center you can see this this large central building almost like a castle um, but more accessible than you would expect you would like it's not fortified or anything like that um, the sky is littered with airships uh, different sizes and shapes. Some of them have propellers that are constantly spinning them, keeping them aloft. Um, way more primitive than anything like the javelin uh, that you're expecting to see. Um, but practical in design. Um, there are small smokestacks that rise up in different parts of the city that kind of give it an industrial vibe. Um, matching the kind of like clockwork nature of some of the designs you see in town. Like a building nearby you has this large... Um, uh, clock built into the front of it that's slowly ticking away with the hours. Um, you can see the time does not match when you just went to bed. Uh, it's about maybe 10 or so hours off. Um, as your eyes turn to your right, you see a familiar male elf. Well, familiar if you only saw his butt. His <laughs> long blonde hair is pulled up into a messy bun that is like his hair has to be going down past, like, his lower back with, with how much hair he has. His eyes are a piercing blue. He wears the clothing of what you would guess is maybe, like, a swashbuckler or a pirate or someone with no sense of style. He turns to you and he goes, Oi, lady, you doing all right? I lost you there for a minute. Uh, yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> Hobson's not good at slipping into... At faking this on the spot, but uh, in a moment of brilliance, he asked, like, oh, I'm sorry, where are we? What's this town called again? I keep forgetting. He gives you a look, looks around, and goes, Okay, okay, I think this is the thing you told me about. All right, <clears throat> here we go. I'll let me give it a shot. Welcome to Whitecrest. I'll be your tour guide for the evening. You can call me Vindelay or Vin for short. Uh, and before we get rolling today, one quick question. Who the fuck are you? Oh, wow, I'm glad you're prepared. Hi, I'm Hobson Bunce. Uh, I have the other gauntlet, and I have no idea what's going on. Okay, okay, that, that answers that question. Um, are you responsible for this interaction? I mean, I, I went to sleep, so... If that counts, then yes. Otherwise, probably not. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so where exactly are you? Like the, the you, you, not my friend, you. Oh, uh, this would... Generally, Northcliff. Right now, too hard to explain. Okay. Uh, that doesn't, that doesn't really help, but I, I, I understand. Um... Oh, what, what did she want me to ask? And she, he pulls out a little piece of paper and he's writing and he goes, uh, Who are you? Where are you? Um, you're, you, you have a gauntlet, you said. Where did, where yeah. did you get yours? The mail. Sorry, I know this is not going to be helpful at all. God, she's way more prepared for this than I was. Yeah, These that's good a, ideas. The, the mail's not a really, that's a terrible story. I mean, it, I mean, it wasn't, I don't think it was meant to arrive for me. I, it came in the mail, man. I don't know. Mail fraud. Oh, okay. See, that's a better... You should have started with that. 
Okay, sure. Yes. Um, we picked up uh, this one about a week ago uh, off the coast of Blue Lake, a little bit north of here. Um, Blue Lake. Uh, we, I, I don't, I don't know exactly what you're doing. Um, but I know Lady doesn't want uh, this thing to be happening at all. Um, and she's very not happy that she can't take the thing off. Do you know how to get it off? No, but God, if she figures that out and I end up back here again, please let me know. That'd be great. Uh, who, who am I right now? Who is she? Who's, who's Lady? Oh, uh, your name is Lady Bell. Um, you are part of the the dynamic duo that you see before you, uh, with a fearsome bounty hunting duo of Tyvanera. We're workshopping a name. We haven't really figured it out yet, but we, we figured the masses would come up with something once we, you know, gain enough uh, renown. You know. Gotcha. Okay. Lady and Bell. currently, uh, we're here in Whitecrest looking for a, a bounty. Uh, and he pulls out like a stack of papers, like. <laughs> They're all bundled up like a novel, and he hands them over to you, and he goes, uh, Do any of these ring a bell? And he points to the top, and you can see this, like, scrungy-looking dwarf. He's got a piece of metal embedded in his head, and goes, uh, This here's a uh, uh, dwarf named Gearhead, who's, he's who after right now. 50,000 gold piece bounty on his head. Apparently, he pissed off some of the Amberhearts and the Domerland. I don't know exactly some politics shit, but they pay good, and it's a, it's a trusted supplier, so... That's what we're going after right now. He's supposed to be in the outskirts of Whitecrest. We don't really know, but, um... Yeah, do any of those ring a bell? Uh, no, Gearhead I'm not familiar with. That is a that's a good good pay for that one, though. I feel like good luck with that one. Um, oh, it's, it's... No, no. It's, uh, it's, it's free money, basically. <laughs> with it on a quick skim, does Hobson see any names that are remotely familiar? Give me a perception check. Okay. Or, perception or investigation, whichever uh, you want. I'm way better at one of those. Let's do that. Uh, you flip through. A lot of them are, you know, kind of what you've expected to see. Some of them might even be, like, familiar when you were in Northcliffe looking at, like, bounty boards and stuff nearby the, uh, like, Shattered Shield Inn and stuff like that. Two of them catch your eye, though, because you know them. One of them is for a familiar antlered tiefling. Uh, Uh-oh. The name is Faley written on it. There's a 24,000 gold bounty on their head to be paid in Spring Oak, dead or alive. Half of gearheads. Ouch. <laughs> the other um, is Morenthal's face, and it is wanted dead or alive. 10,000 in the Shard Coast. Okay, I, uh, I think Hobson does his best to not show any recognition. Um, uh, other than that, though, it's it's what you would expect of, like, you know, bandits, outlaws, whatnot. Gotcha. Okay. Does, um, is Hobson familiar enough? Like, does White Crest ring a bell? Does he know, like, where in the world loosely that these people are? You definitely do. You, you've spent some time, uh, some studying, a lot of reading in books. Um, oh, there's Donkey Kong. I forgot about Donkey Kong. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just, just real quick let's just get rid of donkey kong uh, this is where you are right here over in white crest oh wow okay oh. note to self it's a 10 hour time difference something like that yeah it's about about a 10 hour time difference across so literally the other side of the big world. map mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay and they found this at blue lake is that they found it on the coast of blue lake he said coast of blue lake got it okay. which is just north Okay. Um, one thing you do know about Whitecrest, and now that you've kind of placed it, you think that central building is the Citadel, which is kind of like the hub of knowledge of Ilithia. Um, like, there's there's big libraries in Northcliffe and, and like, Spring Oak and Blackfane. This one's kind of the, like, like the Elder Scrolls in Elder Scrolls. Like, it's, it's kind of that, like, ancient monks deciphering text, uh, keeping record and history that's you know, of all the ages kind of being stored here. Um, there was something else that came up with it recently. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, one of the artifacts. Um, the Flower of Rebirth was brought to the Citadel before it was um, returned to the Vaults of Eversteel. Okay. So that you would also re remember the name from that. 
Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, we should figure out some way to, some better way to stay in contact than me going to sleep. Yeah. Also, uh, like when she goes to sleep, you nothing happens to you. Not that I'm aware of so far, but I maybe I've just gotten used to occasionally not being in full control of myself. That does that happen to her? Um, there there has been a moment where she didn't feel like her and the, what whoever was her at the moment was not very uh we'll say kind well they, they weren't they, they, they didn't really talk to me at all they kind of just ignored anything I did um do you oh that was another one did have do, have you ever talked to someone in the gauntlet yes all the time does she uh she does uh they're not very nice though Okay, mine's also not very nice. Also not not super smart. <laughs> okay, well, see that there there she has actually referenced a few times uh when we've been fighting and, and seeing some travels. Um we've we've only been dealing with this about a week now. Um that it'll actually have some pretty good insight. Uh al also um it lets her turn into uh animals. Can you do that? Uh Wow, no. Oh, that's cool. Mine just makes me lose sleep and gives me bad advice. Mine's actually not... Well, oh, no, I can it. cast magic now. So, okay, that's actually pretty good. Okay, okay so, so there is a plus side. That's good. I, 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 take that for I would have felt sometimes. really bad if she got yeah, a cool right. one and you just lost sleep. <laughs> yeah, especially like Hobson sort of like takes a moment to look at himself like, oh my god, I she is ripped. <laughs> yeah, she's she's like in the seven foot range. Um, She has these like just kind of catching the form that you can. Um, there's this, like, these dreadlocks in a, a messy, kind of, like, pulled back ponytail that kind of go and hit the, like, middle of your back. Um, and, uh, the, the, the small bits of, like, flesh you can see are just covered in de different tattoos and stuff. She's heavily scarred from battles and stuff, and you can feel the weight of this enormous axe strapped to your back. Is this what being tall feels like all the time? Wow. Uh, sorry, I, I, I got distracted. I, I don't know myself. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, I'm trying to think if there's any other good questions I should ask before I wake up. I don't even know how. Um, am I just here now? What happens? I, I, I don't know, to be honest. Um, and as you're having this conversation, you hear in your head, Oh good, another pest. I we've I don't know if you and I have been introduced yet. Do you have a name? I'm Hobson. Uh, names are not important to me. I could care less. Okay. Um, what are you here, and why aren't you the same person I've been talking to this whole time? I don't know, but I am connected to you, and I have someone who's connected to you as well. Interesting. Do you know the name Faults? Let's say I do. If I did, why would that matter? If you did, that I suspect that that's you or part of you or I feel like you'd probably if this is happening to me and you are in part of this gauntlet thing then I'm guessing that like, Vals has something to do with you. Well, that's an interesting theory. How about you do I... this? Come back when you're a little more prepared, and you feel like this shunt of consciousness as, like, you kind of, like, hit the back of your head on the cold pavement of the, the tile <laughs> that you were sleeping in by your friends. Um, as for, uh, probably at this point, it would, it would, it would probably be, uh, Actually, I think it would just be Coil. Um, Coil, you notice in in the the middle of your rest, um, Hobson kind of sits up, looks around, and like slowly inspects each party member and starts going through like his gear, just like wordlessly in the middle of sleeping. Everything good? 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's just a nightmare. Just looking, checking, make sure everything's here. Oh, no. I just realized that she's going to recognize Morgan. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I just <laughs> realized that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Um... After, after like a, a moment or two, uh, Hobson like puts his pack down, looks around again, notices like the destroyed furniture and kind of just the space and then goes to like curl back up in, in the position he was just laying in. Coyle's just kind of tilting his head at all of this, but he's, he's not, I mean... And then, like, five seconds after that, Coil, you, you watch him sleeping there, and his head just hits the pavement hard, and Hobson, you wake up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, ow. Uh, uh. Are you, uh, you back to normal now? Um, I think so. I think so. What? Did did I do anything just now? You did get up and look at everybody and go through your bag a little strangely, but... God, she's way better at this than I am. Uh... Um... She? Yeah. Wow. Uh... Oh, this, how much longer than this long rest do we have? I feel like this is going to take a while to explain. <laughs> uh... <laughs> as much as you want. <laughs> uh, I think Hobson tries to give a quick, concise version, just saying like, whatever's like, whatever's in this gauntlet that uh, that I hear in my head that helps me does magic. There's there's another gauntlet out there that somebody else is wearing, and sometimes when I go to sleep. It seems like we swap places for a second. Um, oh. Yeah, uh, she is like three times my height uh, and way more competent, which in this case is bad because um, she's also a bounty hunter. And I, Thompson looks over uh, at Morenthal and Faley, who I assume are still asleep. Mm -hmm. uh, and sort of lowers his voice like Faley and Morithal are both on their bounty list oh that is bad isn't it yeah um because I do still like I can't go back to not sleeping you've got quite a lot of company in there don't you yeah I oh yeah increasingly it was it seemed like a lot when it was just one. What do you want me to do if I see you doing it again? Um, if you see me doing something weird, uh, say the name Lady Bell and see if that gets a reaction. That's what, that's what her name is. Um, if, uh, if it's, if you see me up at night when everyone else is asleep, don't let me anywhere near Morenthal and Faley. You got Just it. until you're sure it's me. Definitely won't. Sorry, I know I'm giving you a lot of homework. Well, good. It's what I'm here for. Uh, I'll, I'll try to figure this out. Um, Do uh, you know where she is at? Uh, yes, yes, they, uh, she and, uh, her partner, uh, Vendelay are out in Whitecrest. Hmm. So, far, at least. That's, hmm, right. That's at least a comfort for now. Yeah. Does anything in particular start? Like trigger this, or is it random? It seems to be random. So I, I, it happened the first time like several nights ago. 
and uh I like every time I've gone back to sleep I've been wondering if it was going to happen again but uh it had stopped happening long enough that this one kind of snuck up on me interesting yeah <sighs> Uh, except for the my new friends want to kill my old friends problem everything else about it's been pretty interesting I was uh, fairly excited about this development up until that friend enemies of my friends bit yeah uh, yeah yeah I, mean, you know, I think that does put a slight dampener on things yeah oh, boy how do we it's like Hobbs is just like rubbing his head like, oh, how do we, how do we fix this? I could always restrain you whenever you sleep. That would work. Yeah, she won't have her muscles when she's in my body. Yes, yes, that's a great idea. We need to figure out some way to restrain me when I sleep. I'm sure we can figure something out. Awesome. Wow, I actually should have thought of that a long time ago, too. Well, you didn't know she was, uh... True. Oh. I think I'm... I don't think I'm going to go to sleep again now. Is that right if I just uh, hang out with you? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Hobson just sits up and sits next to Coil to continue helping out with watch. Coil and Scrubbins, I guess, to continue helping out with the watch. <laughs> okay. Scrubbins, yeah, Scrubbins is also hopping around at this point. <laughs> um... Since both of you are awake, can you both give me a perception check? Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Mm. Hobson, uh, you notice as as Coil, uh, where where are you positioned in the room, Coil? We'll, we'll, we'll go back to it here. Um. If everything's like dead he... and space has been moved, wherever you want to be. Hmm. I imagine he's not too far from everybody, especially like like here is probably not too bad. Okay, just sitting. Uh, Hobson, you notice from the door, um, ever so faintly, just um, the the rooms uh actually, depending on if you guys want it or not, you can clap on, clap off the torches. Um, so if it's lit or not is that. your decision. <laughs> um, but you do catch just like what you think is shadow um, and maybe why Coil initially overlooked it is it's it's very slow moving, but you can just faintly see a bit of that blight coming in from the door. Just like, it's like slowly mm. making progress against the floor. Uh, oh. Like it would take the better part of like 15 minutes for it to reach you. I was still, yeah, like cops, and then yeah, just tries to get Coil's like attention. It's like, uh, that, that might be a problem. Oh, good eye. He stands up, and it's it's a very familiar sensation as you were kind of in the the sewers. Mm-hmm. It looks like just this area being infested with this like this blight kind of stuff seems to be drawn to coil. Hmm. Hmm. He's uneasy about that again. Yeah. You, you check the corners. There's no like living ooze or anything like that. Um, mm-hmm. it's just, it, it's one of the, it's like, it's the slug that kills you if it touches you, but you can like do anything you want. <laughs> the, the snail. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> It's it's like that. It's easy to avoid mm. if you want, but you you notice it. Right. <laughs> Just you slowly hear through the crack, and so it is Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> now remind me, is this a thing that we can actually like at, like attack or do damage to or right. disperse How did or anything, or do we need to before? just like avoid it? The, uh, previously, when you encounter this kind of stuff, it was a just avoid um, mm. kind of thing. Um, like the first time this happened was in the the Underdark 
when those skeletons that were they're made of like the 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 like black ichor um and it was mm-hmm. only when coil interacted with it um you're not sure if it's maybe the density of it in this area that is making it act a little more uh impulsively i guess mm. but like if you attack it and stuff it's like attacking like a a a puddle or like a stain it right. it just seems unfazed or like splatters and then like kind of just reforms or it's like attacking a blood stain mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. we should wake everyone up right probably not good to stay here before we do I want to test a small theory. Okay. And he kind of scoots, like, away from the party, just like, you know, over Mm -hmm. in the corner, and just waits to see if the the blight will change course a little bit. It's it's slow, but it's noticeable. It's noticeable that it redirects you. Ah. That's something. It likes you. This stuff likes me for whatever reason. Huh. What do we do about it? People can keep resting. I can just hide it around (laughs) them. (laughs) Just handle it with ads over here. Don't mind me. Coil just taking a slow walk around the room. <laughs> yeah, it's like you can take one step and you're good for like five minutes. Like, <laughs> so do you want to you want to avoid it for the rest of the rest? Yeah, yeah, he's just gonna yeah leave it okay. kind of around the room. Um, as as the remaining hours pass, you all awaken. Um to a undisturbed room uh coil is slowly kind of walking around the room and you can you can now see there's almost this like trail of like a streak kind of coming in the room with like the closest like like the residue of a snail being left behind um from the entrance and kind of just zigzagging around um the parts that are like not concentrated just seem like it's kind of just stained the floor it's not like there's no substance there, you know? Mm-hmm. So it's the not coil. like a huge amount that's been gathering in the room. The coil draw anything on the floor out of boredom with this thing chasing? <laughs> no, he's not that creative, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but you're all, all your spells back, full heal, uh, uh, hit dire back. Yay. Nice. I think over the course of the evening, Hobson definitely would have tried to like study that, that like uh, void stuff as much as he could to try to see if they could figure anything out about it just out of curiosity give me an arcane roll on it okay uh, 17 um Ooh. it's familiar in that it seems to be um it is not a natural substance mm. for sure which you you guess maybe now is why the blight has been so impacting on the swamp and the surrounding area is there is some kind of otherworldly nature to it. Um, it's do, out of curiosity. Do you interact with it at all? I think he's careful not to not touch it, especially since uh, Coil is taking care to not touch it. Okay. Uh, but he is just curious and like has nothing better to do while keeping watch and figures like might as well see if I can figure anything out. <laughs> um, I think like the, the closest you get to it, you notice when you're like in really close proximity to it, there's a, a shift in attention that kind of like pulls to you. And then like the second you retreat, it, it resumes its, its course almost mm. like it, it, it's, it's aware of things around it, but there is a strong pool to coil that is overriding anything that it maybe normally does. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like he's got nothing then. Yeah, you you can definitely you can definitely tell it's not natural. That's I think the the best you can interfere without directly interacting with it. Okay. So 
So what are you guys doing? <laughs> Bright and shining day. That was a night. Yeah, Cole, Cole's just like, good morning, you know, um, while he kites this thing around. <laughs> yeah. It's probably like <laughs> late, like it, like the sun has gone down. It's probably around like 10, 11. So it, it's, it's, it's quiet out. You can hear the sounds of like of, of frogs and insects kind of croaking and stuff outside. Um, but it is, it is not lit. But just imagine like Troby waking up, seeing Coil slowly walking around the room. Hobson like visibly tired and didn't get a lot of sleep. Failey's probably shaken. <laughs> Everyone's just like, what the? I had a great night's sleep. How are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> it is a brand new day. Yelnak also slept very, very, very well. Had pleasant dreams. Oh, nice. It, yeah, that was fun. I gotta check my bag of holding, or bag of many things, <laughs> rather. Oh, can't forget that. You gotta do yeah. that. Yeah. Cool, Roll that you beautiful good? bean footage. You good while I do this? I'm ready, I'm ready. All right. Uh, yeah. 55. Have I rolled that? I have. Oh, okay. Um... That I already rolled, and I got the holy symbol of Zamera. Yeah. Well, so this what time, happens if I roll a dupe? It's it's different. Yeah, you do reach in, and um, a a kind of unfamiliar symbol to you. Um, it is a uh, the it is two kind of crossed uh, weapons, like a, like an axe and a sword. Um, and there is like a, a shield emblem behind it that they're resting on. Uh, it's it's emblazed with like a um, a red metallic uh, color. Um, give me a religion check. Uh, 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 re religion, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not a clue. Oh. Can I tell that it's religious in nature? Absolutely. Like okay. you, you, you look at it and study, and it, it, it feels like the, the the care and attention to detail in it. You would imagine it's either that or like a really high noble piece of fashion that you don't understand. Right. You're kind of leaning more towards the religion. <laughs> <laughs> or is clergy. <laughs> well, great. I put it in my bag or something with the 500 other things. <laughs> I feel like you're complaining that you have too many things. No, 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 no. I, I like things. having I like having a lot of things with my bag of many things. <laughs> well, good. Oh my god, so many things. Uh so yeah, what would you guys like to do? You are in the middle of a enemy fortress? <laughs> <laughs> Koi would like to get a move on. Like he's kiting this thing, but he he does want to put some space in between him and it. Agreed. Sounds good. Uh, yeah. Are you okay, that coil? Doing fine, but I would like to leave this thing behind. Sure. It's just ever everyone's something weird's going on with everyone. He's yeah. Something weird. Very well. We shall continue our journey. A rescue mission. So, uh, within the castle keep, uh, there were the three pathways. You checked the left and the right. The right, I believe, was the side that you're in right now. Uh, and the left was collapsed. Um, there is the stair passageway, and there is a door that is closed at the top of it. Uh, is the final aspect of what you think you can reach in the castle that you haven't explored. Is there any um, indication that someone was snooping around in, like, the kind of... Uh, uh, like bookshelf room while we were in the mimic room. Give me a um, we'll do a perception check from anyone who wants to to check her out the this the space Thirteen. outside of the room 21. Okay. Um, 
Morenthal, Coil, and Faley, you definitely notice um, the door doesn't seem to be interacted with at all. Um, and it looks even like the the immediate area outside of you of um, the, the castle keep because because most of it is just collapsed ruins. There's not really a lot of exploring or, or you know, cubbies to hide in and stuff. Um, you do feel uh, just compared to the... Um, and it could just be because it's night. It feels quiet in the castle courtyard more so than usual. Like, it, even even with the sounds of, of, like, nature going to bed and stuff like that, um, you, you kind of glimpse at the top and there's no guards on watch. Mm. Um, you do see uh, there's two sources of lantern light in the courtyard. Um, they look like they're just walking around searching um but like not actively overturning everything it's more like they're just keeping an eye out mm -hmm. okay so where do we want to go then uh, up the stairs yeah definitely i think that's the only place we have left to check well, other than where we know the Beholder was. It's the only place we can check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's Works head up this stairs. And... Quietly. Mm -hmm. All right. You proceed up the staircase. Um, it looks like there used to be more hallways, and it kind of would, like, uh, be a second floor that wraps around, um, like, the entrance you came in, but all that collapsed in from the floors above you um the door is closed in front of you though at the top of the stairs can i put my ear to the door and hear anything on the other side any muffled noises or uh anything? give me a perception six dead quiet there's a door in front of me <laughs> <laughs> Ugh. I will say just for folks without dark vision, um, within the castle keep, outside of the treasure room, there's no like direct light source, and and the moon that's kind of coming through like the fog of the the swamp isn't really strong enough to illuminate within the castle. Um, the courtyard you could probably have like low light visibility, but in here it's it's pretty dark. Just as a heads up. Mm. Well, is the door locked? Let's try it. Can I softly and carefully try and open the door, Dan? Um, you do you go to turn the knob? I go to turn the knob very slowly. It seems to be locked. Can I lockpick it? Absolutely. <sighs> Why do you say it like that, Gam? Because <laughs> every <laughs> single time in this campaign, I have tried to lockpick something, it has gone horribly wrong. 19 on the thieves' tools. You successfully, uh, you, you, the, the, these locks are pretty old and it, it maybe wasn't a secure part of the castle to begin with in its, its heyday. Um, you, you successfully unlock it. The door is unlocked. You did it. You, oh, did you did a rogue thing. Thing. <laughs> I finally did the rogue thing. I finally did the rogue finally did a rogue thing. The student has become the master. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we'll slowly and carefully open the door. You open the door? Yep. Do I get Can on the Can you roll me a dexterity saving throw? Oh no. Can I ever? 16 16 as you as you pull the door open you feel a little bit of resistance as you you start to twist um and it feels almost like um you know those old toys that you would like rev up uh to to kind of like get going like a little car or something like that and it, there was like a little bit of resistance as you turn it's kind of that sensation as you pull and like just as you realize what's what's noticing you you pull back 
Um, and you can see like arc electricity kind of travel through the seam of the door and it goes through the handle. Um, you do save, but you do take uh, four points of lightning damage as your hand kind of like seizes up on it momentarily as you pull back. Um, as the as the kind of like pulse of electricity fades, you you, you hear like a, a disengagement of a trap. Ow. So that hurt. Um. You, you're a prayer. I will be. Oh. I'm sure, Chubby has his little bee thing. Oh, you want, you want some bee kisses? Don't you bet. <laughs> <laughs> you just, you just let me know. I, hang on. So is it? So the door is just fully shut still. The door is closed still. Yes. Um. You, as as a rogue, you can safely assume, unless this is some really advanced thing, um, you trigger the trap and it has been deployed, so it is now safe to enter. You can still give me an investigation if you want to see if the trap is still engaged. I want to give <laughs> investigation. I hate how he literally would just be like, oh, no, Chobi, do you want to try opening the door? What? Well, um, do you, do you look through, uh, it seems like it's maybe a little bit more advanced or just obscured, uh, by the door in some way. You're not sure if it's still trapped or not. I'm going to very carefully try to poke my head in there. Um, you open the door and the trap has been expelled, so it is safe to open. You deactivated the trap. Good job, Morenthal. He's genuinely disappointed that Trilby didn't set it off again. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Come on. Mm. Carefully. Oh, do you adventure. have evasion, by the way? I don't know if you've gotten it yet. Evasion? Yes, yeah. I do have evasion. Okay, so you take no oh, damage there. Oh, yeah. I was about to say. I... So you pull right. back just I... in time before your hand seizes up and you notice like the small sparks from the handle. I've I've gotten so good at remembering what I do have that I forgot the most recent thing I've gotten. Uh, it's it, it doesn't come up often, so it's good to know. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for remembering. I'm glad someone like did. Chat I remembered. Didn't. It was chat. Ah. <laughs> See, this is why chat's good. Thanks, chat. Now he's extra annoyed that Troby didn't take damage <laughs> from it. So the door is open before you. Um, and you can see it's not a large space. There's only really two things of note in here. Um, you can see the, the, the room opens up. Half of it to the right is collapsed. To the left, there's a small crack of, of, uh, debris letting like the, the faintest little bit of light come in. That's, that's not really enough to illuminate the scene, but in daytime, it would probably look really cool. Um, there's this. <laughs> armor um there's there's like a knight wearing this full set of black plate armor um pinned to the wall maybe like three feet up just enough for his legs to kind of be like like not standing up straight but not fully on the floor they're just kind of like resting in an awkward position um the piece of metal that's like pinning him to the wall is maybe some part of like an iron gate or a door at some point maybe at a large spear or something. Um, he His body has been totally uh, picked clean from scavengers. Um, it's, it's just bone that you see. Um, at his hands are hanging to the side. Uh, a few of the pieces of armor have kind of fallen off, um, taking the bones with them. And you see a broken greatsword uh, that's next to his side. Um, you also see uh, grasped in one hand um, like the bones are, they're not like tightly sealing anything, but there's like a bone structure that it was holding. That's not humanoid. Um, it's, it's this weird kind of like, um, like spinal column almost design. And, um, the other thing of note is his helmet and his skull are not in the room. Um, that's pinned to the left wall and between you, uh, and that, 
uh, kind of in the side where the rubble is. There's another one of those circular um, passageways, but whereas the rest of the ones you've been seeing through the castle have been these perfectly carved uh, like cylinders, like almost just like a, a ball passed through it with no resistance and just cleaned out anything. This one looks almost more like barbaric or like sloppily done like just chunks of rock were taken at a time um and because it's night you can easily see the the orangish reddish glow of that like um that that same heat uh that you were seeing in some of the lower external tunnels throughout the rest of the uh entire castle so you see this hole in the night Wow. And and this passageway is not collapsed. We could continue down it. Uh, this is all that's in that room is those two things there. It looks like it used to continue into something else, but the left side is just a flat stone wall that's still intact. The right side's totally collapsed. Mm. Mm hmm. Dead end. Or well, he is, is dead. it? And it is an end. Yeah. Trevor's going to walk up and, and pull the knight's arm like it's a lever. Um, it, the, the, the small bit of connective tissue that's maybe left intact gives and the, like the, the shoulder pauldron also falls off as you're just left holding maybe the, the upper part of his arm bone. <laughs> Drops Trophy. to the floor and jumps back. What are you doing? I thought it was a secret door again. I'm sorry. It's a dead body. In a dead end. I thought it was a clue. I... <laughs> Do you see anything of use in here? I mean, at least nothing bad happened. Darn. Hey, give me a perception check if you want. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll do a perception check because after, after Trilby say that, he'll legitimately just like look around and be like, is there actually 15? 15. Um, other than the body and this uh, pile of rubble and the carved out hole um, and the flat wall, nothing really catches your eye. The one thing you do notice is amongst this this roughly carved out passageway you could probably easily climb down this and climb back out of it if need be it's not a smooth flat surface like the rest of the columns well or tunnels there's this hole that you could climb in why me is you're the one wanting to activate everything that's not true, right? What if there's a lever in the hole that'll activate the door to get us through there to a secret passage, Trilby? Well, I, 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 well, listen, we've had one secret hidden room, and I'm now remembering that that was the mimic room that I did not want to go into, so I'm going to step back. How big is the hole? Um, it's maybe uh, between eight, ten feet wide. Okay, so Coil can get in. Easily. Coil yeah, size. All the rest of them have been that size as well. Just okay. smooth slides. Hmm. Well, I think he's going to start going down the hall. Okay. Give me a either acrobatics or athletics check uh, if you want to descend. Boy. All right. Yeah. Nine. Uh, you, 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 you I, go well, to. Uh, I can, I can. The flash of genius plus four. That. Very good. Very good. You, you go <laughs> to place you, your foot. Put, put your foot over there. And as Trilby says this, like you feel the the where your foot was, um, mm -hmm. and you are about to put your pressure on it. That rock gives, and it, like you hear a. T -t -t all right. Yeah. He puts his... He, he listens to Trilby. Trilby gives a nervous thumbs up. And you safely start descending. 
Nice. Does does everyone else follow down this hole after Coil, or is Coil I'm, going alone? I'm waiting to hear an okay. I, he's he's gonna l look through the hole and just be like, "Is it safe so far, Coil?" Does it seem all right? Um, it seems all right. You know, it's not really bothering you, but it's getting hot. Like. You're noticing it's getting hot. <laughs> it is warm. Uh, and warm for me. Warm? Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Nope. Yeah. Uh, maybe not I a good keep... idea to go all the way down then. I could keep looking. Perhaps if there's another way in, I could see it from inside but if it's getting hot what if it's possible that you're getting close to the ring of flame and what it's attached to was it hot around it was it was it was on the it the, the ring of flame was on that beholder thing right but it wasn't around it you were closer, weren't you? This is a little bit hot. No. Uh, well, true. This could just be something else. Sure, you know what? Go down. I mean, falling into it, a volcano is also bad. <laughs> I'll do my best not to fall into a volcano. Okay. He he he, tentatively and cautiously continues continues to go down. Okay. Um, how far down do you want to go before you feel like? you would relay or your own curiosity. Oh. Mm. Is nothing changing? Does it mostly um, seem the same? It's kind of like bobbing and weaving like a little more than the others because um, mm -hmm. it's just kind of like chunk at a time um, is, is being is creating this passage. Um, it's getting brighter um and that that lingering heat uh is is still there it it doesn't seem to bother you but you you, you would expect maybe the others with flesh might like it, it doesn't yeah. give give me a um we'll give a medicine check in this situation oh boy his best at <laughs> oh it's actually not as bad as i was worried about <laughs> well, it <didn't> matter. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's hot, but I mean, it's probably fine. <laughs> this seems like humans wouldn't like it. That's... I don't like this song. Um... Your song. <laughs> mm. We'll say you descend like a good like 30 feet at this point. Uh-huh. You know... He'll turn around um, and at least check in with them and see what they want to do. Okay. About He'll probably like up. a minute or two passes, Coil returns to the group. Coil. So I went a decent place. Maybe 30 feet. And it's still pretty hot down there and I didn't seeing into it. Is Coil radiating heat like a car out in, on a summer day? <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. Yeah, there's there's like that just, it's kind of warm around Coil at the moment. No, Nothing like gleaming like glowing red or anything like that. But right. we could maybe cook an egg. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, you know, Texas summers. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. What do you guys think? I don't think you should go any further. Could I? So I have Ray of Frost as a cantrip. Can I perpetually cast that in such a manner that would create a nice cooling effect <laughs> and we don't get burnt to a crisp? Um. Just for fun. 
let's do a let's do like an arcane check of of arcana yeah arcana check bam okay um you would imagine with like the size of the space that is big enough to fit coil and it's this long tunnel with the heat uh it's it would be like like throwing an ice cube in a pot of boiling water like it might change it but i'm not looking to cool down the tunnel i'm looking to cool down us as we progress into the tunnel um if it's something that'll just create like a nice enough area that we don't get cooked to a crisp in the immediate vicinity around (laughs) some sort of contraption um I'll, i'll i would say maybe but you would also have to hit the person with the ray of frost I can't make like a little device that I fire ray frost into and it goes like a poof and just You want to make a little... mister? Like a... Yeah, I want to <laughs> make a mister, <laughs> AC. Dan. And a little portable AC unit. But how, long do you, how long do you want to spend making this? Uh, possibly a couple hours. <laughs> couple hours? I mean, it might take a bit. I don't know. Never made a portable AC before. I'm inventing new things. Would this world have a concept of portable air conditioning? Probably. Okay, never mind. I'm ripping off someone else's invention I saw once. <laughs> Either way, I've never done this before, so I don't you, know how long it'll take. You you think you could tinker something that would that would maybe give a benefit? Um, it's just a lot of unknowns for you at this point. Does anyone else have a better idea? I sure don't. Well, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves then because we could just not go through the hole yeah like are there other places outside this area that we could go to keep on uh, try to sort of achieve our goals I thought it was either this or just go towards the weird like structure that the beholder emerged from you know, like this or the other hole is kind of what I was thinking too yeah, yeah. But either way it has a, a, a ring of fire so maybe this is worth doing regardless. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't think we need to go down there, but. Yeah. But if you're allowed to v- invent air conditioning to get us down this hole, that's also seems on- honestly kind of worthwhile. <laughs> that's <laughs> kind of how I feel. Up to you, inventor. It's up to the dungeon master at this point. I, I'm. It's not up to me. <laughs> okay, I'm. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna invent air conditioning. I'm trying to think of a fantasy term. I got nothing. <laughs> coolant? No, coolant put, is actually a thing. I just trying to put an e at the end of it to make it fancy. Coolant. The the cooling mists of yeah, Olui. <laughs> <laughs> How about this? How about in the time uh, we'll take Christmas. for Trilby to make an air conditioner, uh, we'll take a quick little BRB, go to his bathroom, refill drinks, and we'll hey, come back. Go. And uh, that is a good idea. We'll, we'll save yeah. some time as yeah. progress, so his his invention will <laughs> come to whichever fruition we see. <laughs> Great, Geronimo, splash in lava. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back in uh, this is like eight twenty eight. All right, 28 minutes after the hour. (laughs) Five minutes from now. Yeah. All right. See you soon.
Hello, Chad. How you doing? How's how is your evening going? Hope you're enjoying the game. I love playing parties too scared to do anything. <laughs> That means I'm doing my job, I think. Maybe, I don't know. Could have been the mimics. I don't know. I don't know, could have been. Listen, I didn't throw them in the room. They walked in and in <laughs> and set up the trap themselves. <laughs> they they merely went into the room I provided. But listen, it's fine. It's been eight hours. I'm sure no one knows the prisoners are gone. Imagine the coin mimics have little singing voices. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, the the real the the scary part about the mimic room was if they just went in guns a blazing like looting. But they were they were they were they were careful. So it was they actually handled it quite well. I was sad I didn't get to hit an attack with the rug. You know, some some days your rug's going to die in like two turns. And then, you know, that's just going to happen. Yeah, then it gets smothered. The fun part is uh, with the with the rug, uh, if it if it smothers someone um, and another player attacks it, half damage is dealt to who's being smothered. <laughs> so you you're basically damaging your ally, trying to get them out of it. It's uh, it's fun, and they're like suffocating, taking damage each turn. It's fun. We didn't see the carpet munch. Okay. All right, I'm gonna unmute. <laughs> hello. She's so Hi. Hello. hello. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh my yeah. god. What what creature is this that's so compact? I ordered a really cute <laughs> stuffed so animal and it came in a tiny box and I now know why. Amazing. Amazing. She is compressed. The most space efficient plush. Compressed and depressed. I feel like it part of me doesn't want to free it. Cause I freed it. I freed oh, her. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to look at her. Oh. oh. That's pretty good. She's very cute. Hey, you go, <laughs> She was so I have so this picture compressed. from... Oh my god. <laughs> Flat. He is smooshed. Smooshed. I love him. Amazing. Uh, are we all back? Looks like it. Yes. I see. I see a Dan is still <laughs> muted. I am okay. here. Sorry, I was just crunching it, munching on a thing. All good. Mm, all good. Munch. I'm bringing you guys here. Love a good munch. Love a good munch. So, um, as we uh, as we 
as you guys kind of think through your your options here and take some time to watch Trilby tinker, can you give me a tinkering check, Trilby? Uh, is that just the D twenty? Uh, it should be your intelligence modifier. Your proficiency doubled, I think, as an artificer, uh, and then a D twenty. Okay. So seventeen. It's over twenty. Okay. Um. So you make a contraption of a. So so what? It's it's normally Mr. Is it Mr. Gubbins with the Correct. gray frost? Mr. Okay. Gubbins the elephant. So so, explain to me how you make. Uh, we'll say because it's a it's a cantrip. You think you could maybe um, counteract the the extreme heat for one person with this Mr. Gubbins? Uh, Only one he, person. I would say while you're doing this, he is not usable. Sure, naturally. Um, I was hoping to create a tiny AOE pocket that that is cooled down enough to not die in. If if it was more than a cantrip, I would I would lean uh, more that way. But because this is kind of like a, a a quick little use of mana, or just like a a small burst of energy that you can infinitely do, uh, it's very it's not as powerful as maybe like a, a first or second level spell would be. Gotcha. Well, in that case, if it's only cooling down one person, then I figure it takes the form of uh, Mr. Gubbins hugging the back of someone's neck. It provides like a nice Ooh, cooling okay. effect. Nice little cooling. Okay. Yeah. It's like a wet pad to the back of the neck. Mm-hmm. Aww. So you, so you make an, an artificial... It takes me hours to just like attach glue to its hands. <laughs> Guys, I got it. <laughs> Brain blast. Um, so you, you make this device, um, does anyone, it's probably a good, at least, like, hour for the, the tinkering of, of actually getting this contraption to fire consistently, um, and, and be used by someone. So in that time, does anyone else do anything, or are you guys staying in this, like, room with the hole and the dead knight? Yeah, I bet. Mm. I feel like Paul's mm-hmm. very tempted to do some reconnaissance, but I mean, Coyle make could sure do everyone was okay with that. Yeah, it's fine by me. Yeah, as long as you're careful. Yeah, Bailey probably... seems very concerned. It's safest one to do so. Yeah, I think I think if, if everyone's cool, he will he will go back into the tunnel and see how far he could go. Okay. Well, give me another acrobatics check just because it's been a minute. Oh, yeah. That or athletics. Sense. Your choice. No problem. You you oh, right. remember the, the, the safe footholds and, and, and the spots you can put your hand that you have no issue descending. Um, how far down do you want to go before you weigh your options? Um... He might try to go twice as far as he went last time. Okay. Um, like so you, you you start lowering. You get to the uh, like sixty or foot range down the tunnel. You can still see like a, a glimpse of of where the party is. Um, the the tunnel's kind of twisting and turning, but there's just enough to kind of still have eyesight on that that point of entry. Um, mm-hmm. Looking down, you can see. Uh, you you can't quite see into where this is leading um but the glow is getting more prominent um like and give me a perception check while you're there actually Mm. okay it's 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 hard to hear you almost feel this like not like static but um you know when you're like by like just the ocean and there's like the sound of waves and nature and like wind yeah. and it, it, it kind of just like adds on to each other. You're not sure like what source is what. It kind of feels like that. Like there's a noise happening, um, mm-hmm. and it, it doesn't it doesn't feel like alien or anything like that. It's just kind of like rising in volume. Um, like it, you, it just feels like almost like stress on your ears. Interesting. Okay. Not like bad or, or damaging or anything right. like that. Just a just something you notice. Like it, it feels like there's a a, a natural volume happening. Hmm. Hmm. And there's no end in sight for the tunnel. 
Um, you can only see probably like 30 more feet ahead of you before it, it uh -huh. goes out of sight. Yeah, he's going to keep going. Okay. Um, as you go, give me another perception check. Okay. <laughs> oh, consistency. It's consistent. Um, that, that static is, is starting to, to increase and you can almost faintly hear like, um, like you, you've identified the static as just like heat. Uh, like there, it's not like a fire roaring, but it's just the, the sound of, of either lava or, or, or just pressure within the earth. Uh, that's coming through. Mm. And you can faintly hear these, like, kind of, like, out-of-place noises, but you can't quite pinpoint it. It's just, like, sharp uh, little, like, spikes of noise. Um, and as you get to this kind of curve, uh, as you're descending, you can see it kind of flattens. The, the tunnel takes a sharp right turn, and you can see um, this large space. Um, the first thing you notice is there is a, a steady... Uh, stream of uh, of liquid hot magma just pouring from one side um, and it looks like it's descending down into a cavern you can't see like down into it but you can see the cavern is maybe like a maybe like 40 or 50 maybe 60 feet before you can see like the next wall ahead of you and you can see a few of these spires of, of magma falling and, and that kind of rolling just like bubbling Inferno sound is coming through crystal clear now. I see. Okay. Is there like a drop off from this tunnel into this room, or does it just approach um, the floor? You you can guess. You can now that you're kind of at the like the flattened point, you can make way to the like the entrance of like where you can see into this chamber if you'd like. Okay. Yeah. He'll he'll go and look okay. at properly. So it's like a it's like a only like a fifteen or twenty or so foot walk before you do it and mm -hmm. um as you start to break a threshold of of seeing into this room you can faintly see a figure with uh a large bulbous body with these stalks of of, of small little like mm -hmm. eyes kind of all just gyrating in their own motion um and Lovely. you can just now that you hear that sharp sound coming through and it's 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 like cackling or talking to itself and it's 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 alien whatever it, it's saying but you just hear like <laughs> like just little sounds like that coming through uh -huh. um so as you notice that would you like to make a stealth check to see to proceed further and see in the rest of the room oh. or just walk up um i think he knows enough and doesn't trust himself to not make noise. Okay. And he's going to turn around. All right. So you return up. You make your way nice and careful climbing. You know the you know the safe spots by this point. Um, and we'll say by that time that you return, Trilby's finished the Mr. Gubbins device. Mr. Gubbins Coolinator TM. <laughs> Can I get a, an earthbound? Um... No. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> there you go. I did it. You did it. <laughs> nice. <sighs> well, I reached well, the end of the tunnel. Is, um, is coil no. glowing hot? It's about the same as before. It's down there. Confirmed. At the input tunnel, there is a chamber. I didn't go too far because I didn't want to get caught. But... So, do we want to go down this way then? Or do we want to go just the other way? Did it seem like it was alone? I want to say yes, but I also didn't get a super good look. That's fair. 
Well, I can cool down one of us with this. The rest of us will... I don't know. Well, I guess if someone starts feeling sick, that's good. True. Do you think it was hot enough that we'll just take damage being down there? Uh, I mean, I think it's more likely someone's going to have a heat stroke. Okay. Um. There was lava. Hmm. That's pretty hot then. I do wonder if maybe we don't want to fight it and it's, you know. Well, our other option, I think our other option would be to take out whoever's in the courtyard and anyone who has who's close to the courtyard, which is probably a lot of guards, and then lure it up to the surface. True. But there were dudes really high up, and I don't think we've made it all the way up to where they are. Yeah, I don't know if there are good options. I just, I don't know. Lava seems like a dangerous hazard as well. Yeah, a bit. Um. Hmm. What do you think, double leader? Uh. I think double leader's gonna be a B. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My bad. Hmm. Uh. Personally, I, I don't want to go crawling through a hole that could lead to lava. Yeah, that seems. Wait. Dan? Yo. If I wild shape, is there anything I could wild shape into that would be resistant to the heat? That I could uh, go whole spelunking? I don't know. I, uh, are, there, are there any animals? Hey, chat. Does anyone know any druid wild shape animals a set 11 level druid could turn into that might that be able small? to resist high temperatures? A duck. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to explain. Fire salamander. A tardigrade. Ah, yes, very helpful. Mm-hmm. Pigeon. <laughs> no. Can druids wild shape into like some kind of fantasy D and D animals? Like not just those ones are... from our world. The, yes, the, uh, but the problem is those aren't um, like beasts. They're, mm. they're, they're monsters. Beasts that can withstand heat. <laughs> I mean, we don't really want one person going down by themselves, though. That's the problem. I've never gotten mm -hmm. in trouble going anywhere by myself before. <laughs> uh, Giant... How do you feel about crabs again? Giant fire beetle. Mm. And is a fire beetle a beast? Uh, I don't know. I'm just looking at a list of wild shape things. Oh. Um, can they fly? A giant because, fire beetle? I don't know. Because I think that's too high level of a druid. Maybe, though. Know. There's also lizards. Um, I mean, oh, yeah. What, uh, what's the CR of uh, the, the beetle, the fire beetle? That's the CR zero, according to this list I'm looking at. I can post the link to it. And she could wild shape into it. And it, does it does it have a flying speed or no? It it just says no, um, blind sight and you glow. So actually, I don't even know if it's fire resistant. I think it's just on fire. <laughs> no, it does not have fire resistance. I'm looking at the stat sheet right now. Okay, great. So chances are no. Don't. Okay, chat says perhaps I have fire resistance because I'm a. You are a tiefling. Oh, you, you are, are a tiefling. tiefling. You do have fire resistance. How good is said fire assist? <laughs> Means you take half damage from fire. Yeah. Okay. We could also just not go down this hole. Well, but but the, what's our other option of luring it to the surface, and then we have an entire army with, that we have to deal with as well? Then. Well, what what if we don't? Uh, so. How about everyone gives me a quick little um, 
<laughs> intelligence check. Intelligence uh, or arcana. Yeah, see if any of us will figure out how... <laughs> Let's go, nat 20. Noise. Okay. Oh, Jesus, um, 20. So, Dirty 20. Okay, maybe maybe more of you than, than I, I thought. <laughs> um, definitely Trilby. Um, you... you of maybe one of your pop-up books talked about it in, in, you know, nursery rhyme. And while you think the luring out option would be a solid thing, um, one thing that's notoriously known about uh, beholders, like the, 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 the boogeyman that they come across in your little nursery books, is they're incredibly paranoid creatures. Um, so... If they sense something was wrong, you don't think there's a chance you would be able to, like, lure them, or anything like that. Whether whether it would not whether or not it would work, you don't know. But the, the you get story the sense if, it's, if it paranoid. gets anything is happening, it's not gonna expose itself. Uh huh. And, well, it and, did get and Feli Lord... Morenthal and Hobson. Maybe, maybe you've read or or come across or heard from uh, other people. Like maybe, maybe within the the Black Lotus, you heard whispers from someone, and, um, stuff like that. Mm. Well, it did make itself known on the surface when it had a new person to enthrall. So we could intentionally get someone caught and use that as a bait to lure it to the surface, but again, even if we lure it to the surface, we still have to worry about everyone else in the army that would bring that would bring the gods to help. So that's the only idea I have, and even that's a really bad idea. Personally, I think our best option is to just sneak down there <laughs> through the fucking tunnel into Not the this lava one, pit. The other one into into the lava pit, because any other method is going to involve alerting the guards in some shape or fashion. That's what I think, and we just need to do anything we can to have as much protection against lava as we can. So I got one of us protected. <laughs> Yay. I don't know about... I mean, I so I can infuse one of my infusions. I can create fire-resistant armor, but I don't know if that counts for, like, ambient heat. Or if it's just a fire attack. Um, if you have fire resistance, I would say in this circumstance, that's probably going to negate like a strong heat. Falling in lava is a different story, but like, no, but um, would I be okay walking into a room with lava in it? Yeah, like you, you, you would, you would be doing better than someone without. I'll say that. Okay. Well, I need a long rest to do that, so I don't know how we feel. I think we're getting to I'm a point. Yeah. I think we're getting to a point where we're just gonna say fuck it, and because I get the feeling that no matter what plan we set up now, it's going to immediately fail, and we're gonna have to go on the backup plan. <laughs> so, pick your poison. Yeah. Well, then we might just have to do our best to grin and bear it, and I mean, whoever our strongest fighter is, other than Coil, should have the Mr. Gubbins cool coolometer. I forgot what I called it. Um. And the rest of us just have to suffer. Cross mist. Yeah, and and just try to take it down as fast as we can before we all pass out. This sucks. We could also oh. try to target just the ring if we can find it, and then book it out of there. Well, we know where it is. It's on the beholder, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's on yes. the beholder. So we it's can just try to cut off one of the stalks and and book it and not. Yeah. Oh yeah, the you beholder. know, you, you just get have a, have a rogue go up to a beholder and sneakily cut off one of its eye stalks without it knowing. Well, <laughs> if we can't be stealth, maybe the plan is to be stealthy. If we can't be stealthy, while we we're in die. combat, well, well, um, you just try to focus on the eye stalk. Um, yeah, actually. Not having to defeat the beholder is a very good point. I'm a very good distractor. I have a lot of like soft oh, crowd Lord. control. I got freaking blindness, deafness, shatter, silence. Is know? a beholder going to be strong against that kind of stuff? Well, I, well, I think I think 
the thing you got to worry about is, is a beholder going to be distracted or is it going to go, what's that? And immediately hits you with a ray. Probably. Nah, I beat him. <laughs> one, one, I mean, bro. I'll be honest. I, I'm kind of liking this plan because it's funny. And if it works, that would be amazing. Well, I, we can give the Mr. Gubbins coolometer to, to Galnek, which mm -hmm. would give him the most possible time and I don't know, etc. to be able to well, run I around. While I try him. and sneak up behind basically the yeah, beholder got, and get the ring. I've got quite a bit of like don't do that uh, tools, you know. I've got dispel magic and silence. Mm -hmm. What's he gonna mm -hmm. do? Look at all of us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> With his many, many, many eyes. <laughs> well, theor theoretically I think it only has the four stalks and the one big eye, so we can only look at five of us. Wasn't one of them cut off already? Just just to help you out, um, it had eight eye stalks um, remaining. Two were cut off. One of the stubs has the ring on it. It can look at all of us. It's got six eyes. Yes, but yeah. I'll be so enamoring. So, so, so technically nine eye stalks to deal with. Did the the stalk that the ring was on, did it look like it was if on in a way where we were going to have to cut that thing off, or if we could just, like, yank it and be able to and have it? Um, I... You are not sure. I would okay. say in a situation of not dealing with I... a magical artifact, you could yank it off, but uh, you're not it's sure. It's pretty magical. Yeah. Well, I was... Being so your was, interaction with close. magic artifacts is you can't remove a gauntlet yourself. <laughs> like <laughs> That's a... You know... Touche. <laughs> so I'm not going to be able to. So I'm not going to be able to just yoink it. I'm going to have to I'm sneak attack. No. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying the information I'm gonna you bet. don't know. I will bet my 417 gold that we can't just pull it off. And we have to cut off the stock. I I would say I would say just because I was close enough before to get a really good look at it. Would I? Can I? Based well, on what I remember, Dan, would I be able to? figure out if I'd be able to instantly pull it or if I'd have to cut it or something. Well, looking at Hobson, does it look like he yeah, can just take off his gauntlet? It's, it's, it probably it's does. one of those you don't know how the ring works is That's the issue. That's true. If, if, it, if it was just like a bangle that was worth a lot of money and not magical, yeah, you 100% yeah. could just yank that off. Yeah, that's fair. I hate it. And Damn if it. we need I a distraction, say... I, there, I can also summon a uh, familiar to uh, be very annoying. Mm -hmm. Just just some little DM friendly tips. Mm -hmm. um, Thank you. When you when you met um, Pyre, his fingers were bit off. His fingers were bit off, and he also That's said, "True." While he was wearing the ring, he heard voices. Okay. So maybe the high level nature of this ring is something more than just slip it off. Yeah, it would require a cut. I'm gonna, yeah. Explain. I think I think you, as I'm best as you me. can, need to try to stealth attack it, and 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 it might even be magically reinforced, where it's not even just a quick cut, you know. But I think that's well, our it, best, our best option. I'll be completely honest. The 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 plan would be cut off part of the eye stalk just below the ring, and then yes. run with the, with the stalk. Stop. Correct. I think that's our best bet. And if that doesn't work, if it's like, oh, your blade <laughs> melted, then we just have to kill it and die trying. And we would not... If if Quill has told us about the whole voices thing and we know about the paranoia, I think I'd, I would I think we'd feel a little bit more emboldened about the whole distraction thing. Because Gelnet could absolutely play to that. Yeah, but yeah. that only buy us up until a, a, a first attack against it. Yeah, and but I think it would be... It would what be, if that's all we need? Right, but but plan B, if it you can't cut it off for some reason, we need to be ready to fight it. Yeah, but that's always plan B, and we're always never ready for it, and it always works out anyway. Is there anything we could do to be less not ready for it? Uh, be is there good. anything else we know Which... about beholders or the type of attacks they might do? Uh, bad ones. Great, let's dive into the hole then. Um, so you guys, you guys did those Arcana checks with pretty high. Um, yeah. You know, from from your nursery rhymes and word of mouth from coworkers <laughs> and stuff, 
Um, <laughs> each eye seems to interact differently with whatever it's casting. Um, the central eye is also a threat as um, you maybe even experienced when it was glancing around when it emerged to punish those prisoners. Um, if you're within its line of sight, um, magic and magical items tend to not function. Um, but each of the rays um, itself seems like it can act independently of the central beast, and each one does something specific. That you would probably learn from your knowledge, your good rolls. Does artificer stuff count as magical stuff? Absolutely. Sweet. Including scrubbins? Scrubbins, I think, is a feature. Um, so Let's I go, think scrubbins. scrubbins would be safe. Let's go. I could be magic. The magical bee. <laughs> what about the magical? Magic bee, hundred percent does not work. I, no. Oh yeah, God. I have I have blindness, deafness. I can cast at third level, which will allow me to select two targets at a time. I mean, the longer the fight goes on, I can just keep trying to knock out more and more eyes, at least subdue them like temporarily. Um, even if I we mean, don't kill I mean, it, I can just try and blind it more. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest. I'm getting more and more confident now. That's a yeah. terrible idea to get confident about, but I I like I like your idea, double leader. And if um, su supposing it is hearing voices, I also have lots of noise. Mm. So if we can't distract it visually, I can distract it audibly as well. I've got shatter, I've got silence, I've got thunder wave, th thunder clap. I have I minor also illusion. Have, I also have some of those. Also, point of yeah. order, just because I don't want to provide wrong information. Scrubbins is a magical item, so he would be okay. affected by the boulder. If it's looking at him. If it's looking at Scrubbins. Gotcha. Scrubbins well, wouldn't, like, as... die. It would just... No. It would cease just... Cease to function until it looks away. Yeah. Just wanted to make that clear, because I just researched you real quick. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um... Because my goal is to keep Scrubbins in protector mode. I don't know if a flamethrower is going to be really necessary in a magma cavern, but... He's just going to be in, in healer mode as best he can. Or not healer, you know, topping off HP. Mm. Uh, temporary hit points. So, all right. Is there anything else we can do before we... Is there anything else we can do to stall for time? Or <laughs> we can dive down there? I can't think of anything else. I think we just, just got to go. Yeah, I guess yep. we all go down. Double leader will figure out some sort of vantage I'll point. Oh, the distraction. And then, and then, Mornthal, I'll you try to sneak, there. and the rest of us stand by and jump in if needed. I can't wait for this to go perfectly well until the first It's gonna go roll. perfectly well. <clears throat> I just want you all to know I'm, I'm so happy. I'm so, I love this so much. You put a really scary thing in our path, man. I adore, I, I'm so happy. This is like peak <laughs> D&D right now, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All right, um, I'm gonna uh, hand the, the, the Mr. Gubbins misting spray to Galnek. This is really dangerous. It's it's extremely dangerous. That's why we're the ones who are gonna do it. Okay, so if you if you tug on Mr. Gubbins' trunk, it'll start the cooling effect, and then if you give his tummy a squeeze, it stops it. Oh, very intuitive, thank you. No problem. Okay, Good so luck Galnick out there. Galnick gets Mr. Scrubbins. Or, or Mr. Scrubbins, Mr. Gubbins. Mr. Scrubbins. Mr. Scrubbins. All right, Scrubbins. so are you guys descending the hole? Yeah. We are. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I need a uh, athletics <laughs> or acrobatics check from everyone first. Oh my god, if this fucking... Someone just fucking slams down, Whoa. makes a shit ton of noise, playing immediately oh out the god. window. You all, We're... thanks to Coil doing some scouting beforehand, Thank you guys... God easily handle all this oh, um, we're getting all our good rolls out of the way now with that Let's said that. I need Hobson Trilby Morenthal uh I'm missing someone not Coil not Gelnick not Philly okay so yeah just just Hobson Gelnick and Trilby to make constitution saving throws it's getting warm I got plus six 14 20. Okay. it's hot good. and you're sweating buckets but you are able to withstand the heat. Um, Yay. 
it it feels like whatever temperature uh you you've reached as you've climbed like maybe 60 feet down this is the is the heat you're going to deal with as long as you're not touching lava you don't think it's going to get immediately hotter so you're resisting this oh, oppressive heat for the moment i was so scared about that i was waiting for just chip damage the whole time we're down here yeah oh god okay all right it's going great so far so uh with that said you all make it to that short like 20 foot uh platform um where you can see into the room if you if you approach like maybe within 10 feet of the edge that's when you can actually see the beholder do you want to start scouting that now hobson s- tries to sort of sneakily embarrassingly cast armor of agathis a frost enveloping armor upon himself now that he is also <laughs> drenched in sweat at the bottom of a volcano you, you pop it on it feels really good <laughs> refreshing yeah. anyway continue all right so does someone want to go approach yeah or... he's gonna glare at hobson and continue on the okay. double leader is going to lead the stealthful charge okay let's see that himself under check. his breath Oh, I'm actually not that good at stealth. <laughs> okay. Let's give you guys a visual. Um, as you start to approach, uh, give me a perception check with that, Gilnick. Okay. <laughs> um, those those kind of noises uh, of, of, of weird language you kind of get like broken common coming through every now and then and it's just you hear like oh you think you're hot shit oh you come back you coming back who's coming back now no one's coming back and you just it's these like mad ravings uh that you're hearing with like occasional laughter and just this like this gnarly sickening voice coming from this creature um from the beholder from the beholder here's the layout that rules like a uh, Teoster arena. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh, let me... Everyone Superman dive. <laughs> <laughs> time it, time it. You have to time it right. Okay, so you find yourselves uh, right here, but you're about 15 feet up. It is a straight vertical drop. Below you, you can see this heavy chest. Like, it, it is like solid steel sitting there in the ground it looks like it's sunken into the the ground a bit like it's almost like too much pressure for the ground to take or it's just been sitting here that long um can you guys see like the or actually can can you gelnek see the room i can yes okay uh so i'm just gonna scoot you guys you're not in the lava i'm just scooting you guys off the the battle map for the time being Um, so, so that's what you see, and you can see, um, this beholder sitting there, it has nine, or it has eight eye stalks, two stubs, one of the stubs is sporting this, this glowing, like, heated metal ring on it, and that, that you're pretty safe is your target. Um, on the ground in front, on almost like a, a little, like, pedestal made out of, uh, just like molten rock that's kind of been shaped, you can see this skull with a black, um, like full plate armored helmet sitting on top of it, and you can just see the the bottom of the skeleton, or uh, the bottom of the skull showing through with its teeth and whatnot. And it's just speaking to this thing, kind of just like moving back and forth so suddenly, kind of almost like it's like mocking uh, this defeated foe. Um, and this is what you see. It rolled a four on its perception. The the skull is in the middle. Or the school no, it's, it's like right where it's looking at. So it's like right here. Gotcha. I'll make a little. Okay. A little I circle. Would like to make my way. I'm gonna draw out my route. Mm-hmm. Make my way like over here behind this. Is this like a stalactite? Or yeah, there's a, there's a few um, rocks that kind of either are full columns or just like high enough, like maybe ten feet up the room before. Maybe the like slag might slag tight kind of situation where they're almost kissing. Um, right, right, right. Then that's what I would like to do, and let me know if I get seen. Okay. Like... Um, we'll say the act of you coming down 
and and walking up that is the is is the first stealth and once you're in the room with it um could you give me another stealth check another stealth here we go huh. Ah. Oh. okay okay it's it's eyes uh, are gonna be on me this is what we want this do we, we want. think plus four would help here <laughs> how close are you or how close does the flash of genius need to be uh great question uh yeah, da, 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 um, 30 feet. 30, 30 feet. feet. Uh, and you're about 15 feet up. So let's see. The so trigonometry. Okay. So I would I would say that's you're you're a little out of range for Flash of Genius. Dang it. You're too fast, Jelnek. Can I try something? Absolutely. I'm going to minor illusion and make a little bit of a sound trying to imitate. Um, the sounds of the broken common. So I can make a sound and just like continuing to make the sound in that direction where the skull is coming from. Just like, okay. yeah, they're hot shit. Oh yeah, they're real hot shit. No, no, don't come back. Don't come back one day. Um, you, you sense a pause from the beast. Like all of its eyes draw attention to where you make that noise as it darts over you hear the sound almost like record scratch get cut off as you as it points its way towards the illusion. It pauses for a moment and then slowly rotates as it faces Gelnick. And I will need everyone to roll initiative at this point. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's okay oh, so God. far. This isn't bad yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Question while we're doing that. Uh, when the... So it looked at the illusion, and the illusion stopped. Uh, the sound illusion stopped. When it looked away to look around, did the illusion come back? Um, there is a duration on this. So it's not like it, my, my, oh, I guess the question is ultimately, did it get destroyed by getting looked at, or did it just get basically fizzled until the thing looks, the beholder looks away? I'm gonna, I'm gonna double check this because I, okay. I don't want to provide incorrect information. One fight, I need to go first. <laughs> you can put some points in his speed. Expect more <sighs> yeah, the worst rogue I've ever seen. Damn. <laughs> Slow. <laughs> Can't lock I'm the shit. only rogue you've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> that means you're also the best. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I have the book. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> There's your 20. Take a look. Pops it's in a book. It. Oh, thanks. Yeah, sorry. A big book. Was this yours? I was going to wait to roll initiative until the... The thing came up, yeah. Thing. I don't want to roll it twice and be like, oh, if only that was my roll. Uh, do you want to assassinate then? Sure. And Discord is still screaming at me. Oh, no. That should help. Uh. <sighs> Maybe if Gelnek just stands really, really still. <laughs> it's like a dinosaur. It's a vision space on movement. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe it's paranoid enough that it'll just think it's a stat that, that Gelnek's a statue that just randomly appeared out of nowhere. It definitely won't be suspicious about that and investigate close. No, no. I mean, it's it, it, it just heard a random noise and now there's a statue there. I... Weeping angel. Definitely wouldn't assume that that's a person. So, Gelnick, do you have distractions okay. that so, aren't magical? So, in this instance, as as the... as the His central eye turns to face Gelnick, there's a, a, a moment where it's it's... The record stops in it, and then you immediately hear like that, <laughs> like the Gelnex imitating voice return in that location. Rad. So just for oh. clarification, if a spell has a duration, um, its time in the magic field counts towards that duration, but it does continue. Oh, okay. Sweet. So it's just suppressed while the counter still goes down. Correct. Correct. But like, say he kept his eye there for a minute, it, it would still like end the spell normally. 
It mm. wouldn't it wouldn't be like paused until it's resumed, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. The time is still ticking down while it's looking at Correct. it. Correct. It just isn't active. So it prevents new spells from being cast. Yes. Uh so um I wanted to draw a Here's here's your opening that's 15 feet up. Um so wherever you start your movement from, just make sure it's from that yellow circle. Um This one? Mhm. Okay. I just didn't know if like if I put you guys there it would like block your line of sight because of the way uh, nope. Oh no, we can see the whole thing from Everything anywhere here. Everything other than there there. Wow. Okay, this great. And this down here. Those uh, are casting shadows for us. With that said, let's uh let's Time to die. Let me let me clear this first. Oh, do we have to? Oh yeah, that's right. We have to redo it. All right. Uh, you can if you've already rolled it, you can just enter it. You can just roll again and type in your first roll. I don't want to look at what Yay! I'm gonna get this time because it's gonna be really <laughs> fucking depressing. It's okay. Could be last. You shouldn't have looked. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry. Okay. Slow buggy. High five. Day. Bottom of the list. Why isn't it letting me change it now? Uh. I will change it if it's not letting you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Now let me change okay. it. Okay. Is that everyone? One, two, three, four, five. I think we're missing oh, someone. Yeah. Missing a uh, Faley. Oh, Faley is AFK. Okay. Oh yeah. Also, you need update um, Hobson to the first roll. Oh yeah, I haven't. I, I have to wait till everyone's in. Um, oh, gotcha. What is Bailey's initiative? I'm just gonna click it on her sheet real quick. Plus zero. Love to see it. Eleven for Bailey, and then we descend. Um, okay. Cool. So as. As you as you hear like the the laughter start and like a, a small bit of stone skips under uh, Gelnick's feet and draws the the attention of this beholder, um, Trilby, in that Meet moment. Hobson. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Hobson rolled twenty. Oh, you, you Hobson did roll twenty. And then you had to add to. Yeah, yeah. I'm going second. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> so in that moment, Hobson. Um, you are at the top of the initiative. The Idra turns and just snarls in the presence of Gelnik. And we could put on some good music. Oh, what would oh, you like to do? <laughs> oh, fuck uh, yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's just a caco demon. We'll be fine. <laughs> uh, it's a very good music choice. Thank uh, you. I think Hobson, while thinking about this, suddenly out of nowhere hears from Vals, who's not spoken up in a while, uh, and just say, oh, I, I, I have an idea. I actually have an idea. Hang on. I just, sorry, I was not paying attention at all. But this is, I have an idea. Here, point, um, point the bracer just over there, and he kind of like yanks the arm, like kind of arm bracer toward, like somewhere over here-ish a bit. Mm -hmm. Uh and he starts saying, like, okay, and now I say these words to cat, you know what, I'll do it. And then uh, uh, Hobson casts a spell I have now that I've never gotten to use before, which uh, seems like it's gonna be fun. And also is gonna be a lot of text, sorry. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh what? my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking what? Dad New gave art. me this like two months ago and I've been waiting for a good time. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> okay, uh, uh, can you move that, now. Dan? Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Let's fucking go! There you, go. <laughs> you, uh, <laughs> you all watch as in the spot that <laughs> false controlling Hobson points out the gauntlet and a, a shimmer of, of sparkle and glitter starts to feet, like form and like almost like there's someone invisible standing there and the glitter is sticking to them as they like just stand and pose triumphantly you see the form of vaults uh once the, once the glitter like fully reveals the form in a flash of light you see this this uh eladrin just uh standing there long pointed ears long flowing like platinum blonde hair these uh like autumn amber eyes 
and uh, just standing just how you would expect Vols in his presence to be. And uh, what 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 does Vols do? <laughs> the Mick Gordon music really completes it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's diegetic. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. So like the way this works is he's basically like I'm choosing a form for him. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So uh, let's go with the. Uh, it seems like most helpful for him to probably do like the werewolf one. So he'll, uh, after he's had his pose moment of looking glorious and which I don't know if anybody else in the party has any, well, I guess they've all seen what Vols looks like. So I don't know. If, I, I, that's probably you not the most important thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So you just, you saw a pretty cool looking shimmery ghost, uh, that turns into a werewolf and, uh, what bounces up on and like just charges and pounces the, uh, the did, uh the holder from behind did we know he was a werewolf he's so that's he can t- like um dan what spell is this basically like imitating um, so i think it's like a uh I, I don't remember the exactly form of it but basically it's channeling different elements of the fey plane um yeah. so we can turn into a different fey creatures and one of those is a werewolf yeah, uh, Wait, so he's not see... turning into a wolf. He's turning into a werewolf who can then turn into a wolf. No, he, he's he's. I'm Vols, just fucking And around. then he, he makes the appearance form. of like a a Vols themed werewolf. <laughs> 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 Incredibly very... smug looking, long smug long and the... like the platinum blonde fur. Yeah. Like all the the nails are colored. Like <laughs> oh, I love him. Uh, but yeah, no, he he uh, goes and just like uh, leaps on the uh, beholder from behind and just starts trying to swipe at. I would like to think that he'd go directly for the stalk with the ring thing, but I'm guessing he was not paying enough attention to know what our actual objective was. I think he just saw a moment <laughs> oh, to be no. cool. So uh, he's just, yeah, he's just leaping on and attacking th- the thing. Okay. Uh, with, so, yeah. with, I guess multi-attack is the... With the yeah, attack. number of attacks equal to half the spell's level rounded down. So two. All right. Sweet. Uh, this part of the music is apparently very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> it's just looping again. Loop back. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Uh, let's see. So weapon attack or spell attack modifier to each hit each. Right. Okay. Sorry. There's a lot of text on this. Spell. There's a lot. It's a, yeah. It's it's the <laughs> first time we've seen Vols. So this is this is amazing. I'm my jaw is still just flawed. Modern mm-hmm. Hearthstone cards be like. so my spell attack modifier to hit uh and each hit is 1d10 plus three slashing so one d10 plus plus the spells level so i think it's level so three three so 1d10 plus six i think uh seven 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 seven. yeah yeah all right uh, my spell attack modifier is uh, charisma. So that's saving uh, four. All right. So roll one d twenty plus four. Twenty three to hit. Yeah, twenty three absolutely hits. Hooray! All right, Dude, should I roll for, again for the for the other? You, you can just roll well? the other one first, yeah, so we can see. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just do that again. There we go. Plus four. There we go, and seventeen for the second. Seventeen misses. Okay. Oh Good. shit! Scary <laughs> to know. Ooh, but okay. twenty three does hit though. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, and then that in that case, that's a one d ten plus seven for damage on it, and that's thirteen. 13 damage. Nice. I like Vals goes in and claws and like as <laughs> I imagine it's like a like the over the top anime thing where like he slashes and there's kind of like a slow mo of like the blood splattering and <laughs> and he's he's posing triumphantly with his claw before he goes in for the other one and whiffs and he just <laughs> <laughs> Acts like it was intentional. <laughs> okay. Anything yeah. else for Hobson? Um, you are still up at the at the top entrance. Uh, yeah. Or like, how much of a jump down is it again? To a... so it, it's a fifteen foot jump. You can do an acrobatics or athletics. Um, 
and, and all you need to be is a 10 to like not fall like take any damage from uh, the small fall okay i should get down there to be sort of helpful or and then you have your full movement as well yeah okay so well okay well so. you do take three points of bludgeoning damage at least everyone was looking at boss yeah <laughs> <laughs> and now i'm here <laughs> you stumble a bit in the confusion <laughs> <laughs> We're all just staring slack jawed and then hops and just ha, ha, ha. <laughs> it's like ow, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. And, and that is my turn. Okay. Holy fuck. <laughs> right? Um so I guess in this instance it would have been you did that, you cast the spell, you moved, and then Vols would have taken his turn. Yeah. Um oh do do you wanna have Vols within melee here? Yeah, I guess he would that's right, I need to move him. Yeah, he's in melee. Okay, so then it would have been his turn, and now it's Trilby's turn. Okay. Um, Trilby's going to have Scrubbins who... Uh, well, I guess I have to summon Scrubbins. Never mind. I can't just do that. Um, the, 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 the 1d20. Come on. Please, 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 please. 15. Okay. Okay. Uh, I gained one dollop of Void Crystal. All right, Very that nice. Um, <laughs> uh, he's in protector mode, and he is going to squawk and hit everyone other than Hobson and Gelneck for uh, 8 uh, 9 temporary hit points. Wonderful. I'm gonna need it. That's not you, Gelneck. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> everyone other than Gelneck and Hobson because we're all clustered up on this rock face together. And I've got my other own than 10 hit right. points that are keeping and, me nice and cool. And Hobson fell out of range, so... <laughs> Unfortunately, can't help you there. And then I guess I, Trilby was just going to stay up there, but seeing Hobson go for it, I think he's also going to try to drop down and land next to Hobson over here, unless that's in the lava. Um, It's warm. You're not in lava, though. Okay. Um, give me a quick uh, acrobatics or athletics check. Yeah. Okay. You, wow. It's a, it's a rough fall. You take four. You take four points of oh. damage as you. You land on me. <laughs> Catch me. I, well, I it like wasn't that, that one. Yeah. <laughs> Hobson was just starting to get up. <laughs> Thanks for uh, five damage. I'm <laughs> Anything else for Trilby? Nope. Okay. The Idra's turn. Uh oh. It's um an eye darts back to notice Vols as the, the swipe comes across its back and its other eyes start da darting around seeing the rest of you in its space. Um it it starts to lift off the ground about like ten or so feet, and just like looking at you, Gelnick, with this like sinister crackly like you know when someone needs to clear their throat? It's like that to the extreme with like bubbles kind of coming from their voice. And it's just like, you dare go against me. And it rises up as stuff happens. Um, you can see three of the eye stalks like kind of start glowing color. Um, they dare a great many things. Usually involving death. This is fine. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to need... Trilby... to make a wisdom saving throw. That's Hobson definitely high. Hobson to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, and Morenthal, it begins. And Morenthal to make a wisdom saving throw. Oh, okay, cool. Fuck. Why do I have to nice them? I'm very happy for you, Dad. Me too. Oh. You've minus one wisdom. Yes, I have minus one wisdom. Does everybody in our party have minus <laughs> one wisdom? No, Faley's gotten wisdom. Okay, I, so I just have plus one. Just me and Morinth all then. All right. <laughs> I have a whole one wisdom. Um. So, Faley and Coil, as you're up here with Morinthal, you notice Morinthal like 
Bo ready, getting to go, and then he just kind of slumps and falls unconscious on the ground and begins to snore. Oh, no. You are asleep, oh. Mournthal. Did I wait? No. Did I save? Trilby. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. It's Mournthal, bro. You went out of order. It made me confident. Uh, I'm, I'm. Oh wait, I can't, I can't be put to sleep by magic. Very no. good. You, you, you get oh. the wave of sleep magic getting used against you, and your your elven bloodline kicks in and shrugs off the effects. Ah, you get a, bit, a bit groggy, but you're still ready to go, so you're good. Nice. I was so focused on if Dan tries to charm me, I know I can't be charmed. Um, <laughs> advantage speaking against... of charm, though, Mr. Oh. Trilby, oh, you but suddenly... I'm already so charming. You, you suddenly look at this Hydra, and you're like, I, why are we here to hurt this, this, this beautiful woman? She's out here living her best life, and you... Do not feel inclined to attack or use any harmful spells against the Hydra. Oh. Now, you can still help your allies, but you can't willfully attack or do anything harmful to the Hydra. Honestly, kind of in character. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. At least I'm not dead yet. Now, Hobson, it's like It's like, <laughs> honestly, we probably wouldn't even realize that he's actually been... <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's like, this is trouble being trouble. How dare you. <laughs> Scrubbins is up here, by the way. Okay, Hobson, you saved, and you see this sickly green ray, like, attached to you at the, the center of the torso from one of the things. Um, and there's kind of, like, this bubbling energy to the, the, the line that hits you, and you suddenly, like feel your 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 muscles spasm and like you can look down and see veins in your arm and neck kind of blacken and, and you resist the urge you do still take 20 points of necrotic damage Ooh, as this right beam there. hits you and you resist Ow. it Ow, uh question mm -hmm. is the thing it just did to trilby considered an attack um let me see Can you, can you tell me what it's in response to? Uh, I'll just post what I would do if I could. Heal. Okay, no, this is a, it, it wouldn't affect your AC. So this is like a, a, a okay. save that usually doesn't go through AC. So shield wouldn't help in this situation. Yeah, okay. I don't know if a ray, because normally I would assume they don't. Because they're, they're usually all saves against your stuff. Gotcha. Um, ooh, the thing is, the thing is, oh, but, but yeah, flash. it's, uh, I Wait, think it's, can I flash a genius at Chad is reminding me that that works under, uh, for, uh, ability checks or saving throws. Yes, you can. So plus four gives me 17, Dan. You save. <laughs> Thanks, chat. Um, <laughs> the evil laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Violet now he wants to kill you, boys. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm conflicted here. Really? It, it wants. Okay, I think it's gonna keep its eyes on Gelnick because it's, oh, okay. it's mad at you, Gelnick. So you have its eyes attention for the moment. Um, that is its turn. It is Bailey. Is, do we have an Nicole Ooh. back or no? Uh, uh, don't think so. Okay. She needed to step away for a little bit. She said just it magic is, missile. Yeah. So. <laughs> guiding bolt. Yeah. Guiding so, bolt. Or guiding bolt. Yeah, yeah. My bad. I'm going to pull up the cold sheet real quick. Uh, I'll do a a little. Wow. No athletics or acrobatics. Uh, okay. She's gonna take a little bit of damage too. Two. Temporary um, hit points. Temporary hit points. And she's going to... One, two, three, four. 
uh, jump on down. I'll just move you up here. Um, and she's going to Guiding Bolt. Let's go Guiding Bolt. Uh, what, what? Nicole usually casts high level spells, right? She usually, she usually beefs it up. <laughs> oh, that kind of beef. Yeah. Not, not, she doesn't fuck it up. She in increases the power of the spell. <laughs> yeah, she loves doing that. I'm going to say she'll do it. Oh, Nicole's back. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hey, uh, I just cast Guiding Bolt for you and it hit. Oh, hooray. Thank you. Uh, That's what you wanted to do, right? A second level spell then, so. Um, yeah, the plan fell apart immediately, by the way, so. Oh, good. That's good. Oh, uh, how many we'll temporary hit points here. did Nicole get? Uh, nine. how many temp hit points? Nine. Nine, and she just took two, so, okay, sure, seven. Okay, I, I got your sheet updated, Nicole. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, this, this bolt of sparkling starlight hits the beholder for, uh, 17 da radiant damage. Um... It's mad. You can see like an eye stalk focus to you, Faley, um, as you're now down on the ground. Uh, just for context, Coil and Morenthal are still up on the above platform. Yeah, everyone I was about to ask down, why it looked like not a lot of people were down here. Um, yeah, so everyone except uh, Morenthal and Coil are on the same ground as you. Perfect. Um, would you like to do anything else? I, I, move, I used uh, 15 feet of movement. And I haven't used a bonus action or anything. Um, I just take a quick peek. I don't think so. Now I'm good. Okay. Um, at the end of your turn, before Coil's turn. One of the uh, eye beams turns uh, that's been watching you, Faley, and I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me. No. Very nice. nice. Uh -huh. You you get hit with this like um dark red like pulse of energy, and the the kind of shape of the beholder starts to like morph and like turn nightmare esque before you realize it's an illusion and you shrug off the effect. Oh, good. Uh, Coil, it is your mm. turn. Okay. We're gonna rage for real this time. Real rage. Real raging. All right, and we're gonna jump down. All right, athletics or acrobatics? Right. All right. You you are fine. Okay. But someone is. Um, and we started we started here, right? Mm-hmm. Remember, we're fifteen feet up. Hey. I think he's gonna. Was 30? 30 was here. I think we're just gonna burn his action and. Get all up in him? Uh, get up in his face. He's yeah. 10 feet up just as a point of order. So you're still within combat of him, um, but just so you know, he's okay. he's a little off the ground. Alright. Um, anything else? Yeah, Sorry, I ignore don't that. Think. <laughs> All right. Nope. I think that's all he can do. Morthal. Okie dokie. Um, before I jump down and face plant, uh, I'm going to short bow the hell out of it. Um, uh, we'll just try and target the central eye, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, question. Is Vol still attached to him, or is it, like, floating 10 feet above everyone underneath it right now? 10 feet above, uh, Vols is, like, pro Vols is probably the same height as Coil in this form. Um, so, like, they're they're within melee of it, but Vols isn't, like, on its back. So you wouldn't say they're within five feet of it? I, I will give it, yeah, you, you have this for the moment. It, he's not high enough up to not Okay, rock. so I can sneak attack him? Yes. Okay. Thank God. If, don't worry, don't, I, I didn't fucking say it, don't worry. Does a 13 hit, Dan? No, 13 does not hit, unfortunately. <laughs> well, okay, time for me to face plant. Or you, not. Yeah, you get down you successfully. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that and I'll get a little bit closer. 
Okay. Like about here, probably. Wait, let me just double check. That was, yeah, yeah. Also, oh, Fairly's still up there, right? No, no, Fairly, Fairly jumped, jumped down. down oh, she did jump. You're right. You, sorry, I, 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 I did control you for a minute. Would you have liked to jump down? Uh, it depends on if I could have hit from up there. You could hit from up there, but you're also I would also not have here. jumped down. You cannot. Okay, so then you can go back and give yourself two temporary hit points because you you fell, and then just put yourself on the yellow circle. Hobson and Trilby also fell and took damage. If that makes you feel any better, it does make you feel a little better. <laughs> Trilby fell on top of Hobson. Okay, that's true. I crit failed it. Uh, before the start of Gelnick's turn, Morthal, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. You see this, uh, this like almost silvery beam kind of pulse out and it, it, it's, it starts to move in like slow motion as it kind of comes to hit you. 20. 20, nice. You, you, 20. You, you dodge this like slow moving effect that like you think you're away from it and then it like explodes in an aura, um, but you're out of range of it and you shrug off the effects. Okay. Phew. Gilnick. Thank God for evasion. All right. Well, I can just move out of this, right? Yep. Okay. I'm going to move out of it. And uh, at its question of you dare, I do dare. I dare death, for it is yet to fulfill its promise. And I'm going to cast Blindness Deafness at third level, which allows me to select two targets. Ooh. I'm going to select its main eye as well as a random eye stock. Okay, do you want to choose a specific? Um, just to let you know, the sixth eye and the ninth eye are cut off. The ninth eye is where the ring is. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. Uh, so, I mean, well, we, we've seen public. some of its effects so far. I don't know if we've seen yeah. all of them. Probably the I'm... one that hit Hobson is the worst so far. Yeah. That was the fifth eye then I will target that eye to try and blind them. Okay. That one and the main one. Got quite 22 a few on the here. save. Oh, dang. Oh, oh man. Okay. It's uh, just one roll for both. You know what? I'll do two rolls. Yay. Yay. This is for the eye stock. 14 to save? Yeah, that meets it, beats it. That beats it? Okay. Yeah. That's okay. I can try again next turn. Okay. Okay. I believe in you guys. As long as we're not dead. Uh, but, any uh, bonus? I'm going... Yeah, I'm gonna just like hide behind this rock and just like take my hammer and like over here, boom, 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 boom. just like hit against the rock. Try and keep its main attention on me. Okay. Hobson, this is just you and False will go immediately after you. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then Hobson. Uh, in the interest of spreading out uh moves over here and uh yeah just fire some eldritch blast up at the thing uh a one 13 to hit goes wide and a two that one Prince. is all right yeah nice so uh in that case i guess it is uh 17 damage 17 damage yeah Nice hit, meaty chunk you hit, and it's it's like, you know, you know, like the Rocky where they punched, like wet meat <laughs> to make the sound. Like it's 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 that kind of like thud of an impact. Ooh, very nice. Uh, nice, yeah, and I think that's probably it for Hobson. And then, other than it's, yeah, him just. I don't think he's giving false orders in this case. Usually with <laughs> yeah. this like sort of summon familiar, it's the <laughs> it's the summoner cat like telling them what to do. Vols is just doing his own thing, um, which is probably for the best. But yeah, Vols mm -hmm. goes in for an another, uh, like, uh, fight. multi attack on the thing. Yeah. Assuming he can reach it. He can reach, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, he's only uh, 10 feet up, and you guys are like seven feet. You can easily. Cool. He's, he's, he's uh, a big boy as a werewolf. Can he, like, jump up and try to, like, hang up, like, uh, cling onto the thing? Um,. I will let it happen as an attack, but it will replace your multi-attack. Okay, well, actually, let's go with that then. Yeah, he tries to just jump up onto the thing and uh, climb up onto it to get 
in better okay. slashing. So we'll range. do we'll do this as like a, a grapple attack. Yeah. So I'll roll um, against you, and you can do athletics. I think you you have to do athletics for a grapple, I believe. Okay. Um, let's see. He has his own stats for that. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna let you know you won because I rolled in that one. So fantastic. <laughs> It's just so we don't have to look stuff up. So you Vols say this all time. <laughs> kind of jumps up and clings onto his back. Um, and you you are now securely fastened on the back. Um, or right. Vols. Vols is just hanging on the back of this giant orb creature. Which is also nice because his eye can't reach him from his back. Yay. Uh, anything else for Vols? Uh, no. I, th I think other than just getting up onto the thing. And uh, yeah, just uh, starting to... Make his way up toward eyes what he can, as he can. Quick question, chat. For multi-attack, can you replace one of the attacks with a grapple, or does it have to be your entire attack? I think those are the rules, yes. Okay. You can replace one of the attacks as a grapple. Okay, so you so you would still get one call attack if you want. Nice. Hey, hey I'll take it. Uh, let's see. Then he... Uh, 17 to hit. 17 misses you you kind of oh. scrape against its hide and like even though it's kind of like fleshy and and rubbery uh you can't seem to like draw any of this blood from this creature all right well fair enough and then that is both our turns i think okay trilby all right uh Strowman's is gonna go pacaw uh again just to see if i can get anything better uh 28 nope all right um, and, uh, Trilby's gonna grab his little symbol and his little, uh, 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 little angry bear and going to cast Shatter in such a way that it hits the Hydra, but not Vols. Okay. Uh, aya. Con save. Yep. Uh, 12. Nice. Okay. And so, then ooh, 11 thunder. Oh, and plus. An additional 6 because of arcane firearm. So 17 thunder damage. Yep. Very nice. Okay. And then that will be my turn. Um. Yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Big boy's turn. And, um... He's... He's 100% turning. He likes looking at nothing, doesn't he? Um, uh -oh. so... So he, his eye snaps, and I think just for the sake of narrative, like, Vals is directly positioned behind the eye. So Love he's it. he's kind of just following. So as this kind of like sweeps past, um, Coil, as it passes by you for a moment, you feel almost like sluggish, like not like you can't do anything. It's just like a weird, like numb sensation as it passes by you. And um, mm. as it passes, the little like hopping boy that we all love of Scrubbins just sits there inanimate. No! Um, And he's gonna... Fire off try. three beams, and now he's Shh. got a nice, pleasant morsel in front of him. Um, and that 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 jagged mess of a mouth comes and is going to bite down on you, Coil. Uh, so for oh, the bite boy. first, um, uh, 21 to hit. Yeah, that sure do hit. Wow. Uh, one, two, three. Seven, seven sound. piercing damage. Oh, that's not too bad. I rolled really. Is that after <laughs> resistance? So it's three, three piercing. Um, so he, he's he, maybe he's struggling because of your construct form, and he was expecting a little more squish. Um, <laughs> and and then the three beams are going to activate. You see one of the stubs, like, pulse, and no beam comes out. Um, so one 
one dud of a fire. That's um, what I thought. Hmm. You got nothing. Go up against the flower crowns with that weakness? Probably. <laughs> um, <laughs> Coil, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. All right. I do believe I get advantage on those. Mm hmm. Yes, and Morenthal. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, why can't it be one of the ones that I have advantage against? Oh, no, constitution. Oh, fuck. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be out of this, fellas. That's the bad one. Yeah, that's the bad one. And I only got a one on constitution. We should have traded, but I'm sure uh, he's later on purpose. But mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would you like plus four to that, Cam? That ain't going to fucking fix anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Suit yourself. Uh. Um. Okay, so coil. Um. This that slow silvery pulse. Um. You kind of aren't expecting its its like tracking properties, and it hits you, and you just feel sluggish and slow. You are slowed. Um. Ooh, which means mean? you Do can think plus you have a minus two to AC. That? Uh, you can only take oh, yeah. an action or bonus action. No reactions, and if you multi attack, you can only take one attack. Is it too late nice to flash of genius that? Um, look, look, coil, look out! Well, wait, but would is flash of genius a spell or? No, flash no. of genius is an ability. I'll, uh, I'll. Okay. Uh, if if you if you want to use it, yes. I, was, I my vision's not blocked with coil, so. No. Coil, are you, are you thirty pivot. feet away? Oh. I think uh, you are. I just wanted to. Uh, exactly. Beautiful. Oh, okay, just so barely. in Good an alternate timeline, <laughs> you felt yourself slowed <laughs> by this ray. Um, pivot! Pivot! Coil! Pivot! <laughs> and the last second pivot, you that, that small burst of silvery light, you resist the slow. I keep yelling Ooh. pivot until Coil turns back to look at me like, what? And that makes it miss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 okay, okay, okay. Thank you, Charlie. Okay. Um, I got one more of those. No one fuck up. Speaking of fuck ups. Yeah. <laughs> no one lightly fuck up. <laughs> oh, I heard how many dice that was, Dan. How are you talking about? He's still rolling. <laughs> okay. Um, this, that, that sickly, like, bubbling green ray connects to your chest and like as you realize what's about to happen you go to move and you feel your body tense your your veins kind of surge with this like necrotic energy and you're hit for 31 points of necrotic damage i think you mean i'm gonna uncanny dodge that uh read that, uncanny dodge for me or can you can you post it, that i i was wondering how you how you'd want to work with this out because it it's uh, when an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, so it, it, it boils down to whether you consider it an attack or not. I'm going to say yeah, yeah. Okay, so so yeah, so uh, 15. 15? That's all my temp hit points gone. I can give you more. True, you can. All right. Uh, that is the end of his turn, though. Or her turn, excuse me. Uh, Bailey, you are up. Since um, I was away for the first part of the fight, uh, mm -hmm. does anyone look damaged? <laughs> like we're heavily. Okay. Hey, I'm okay. Other than temp hit points. Okay. Although Gellink doesn't have any temp. Um, I think. Oh yeah, how many temp hit points did we have? Uh, nine. Were you total. near me? Yeah. Nine. Yes, you have nine. But had nine. Oh, right. did Coil? No, yeah, Coil was there to get some. Yeah. It was I everyone think. other than Hobson and Gelnek. Yeah. So you started at nine. I don't know if you've taken damage since then. I took three points of damage, so we're at six. Wait. All right. Um, because this worked out very well for me last time, I I can wall of fire again, right? Like we had the rest. Absolutely. Yeah. You you have okay. all your spell slots back. I would like to do that. Um, as a as a helpful DM, you can sense the creature is looking directly at you, and you feel like the the properties of some items you have, some rings, 
maybe uh, not responding in your current location. Is your name Steve? Did we? Did we? Did, <laughs> I, I was going to say. This was something I, I think you all Nicole talked was, about. But I, I, don't I don't know if Nicole was here for the looking at you means you're not going to be able to cast magic thing. I was not. Okay, so we, we, we'll, we'll say you haven't cast this yet. When you're in this this beam of the central eye, if it, if the, eye, the, the holder is looking directly at you, you can't cast magic and magical items do not work. Okay. I'm you also can't softly. shoot through with magic. So like if you if you try to like say you were like above Hobson and you tried to shoot you know, uh, like Morenthal for some reason with a guiding bolt, it would fizzle as it passed by. Can I? Oh. You can. You'll have to hop down first. I can't just scooch over here. That's like the the hole is the hole in the wall that you guys are I'll climbing through. I'll hop down. So right. you have to jump down. Yeah, I'll do that. So give me a athletics Athletic. or acrobatics. You're fine. Nice. So now you can take your movement and you're like on top of that chest. Yeah. All right. Do you want me to cast? So now you can cast it if you want. So now, you once, yeah, now once you're out of it, you feel you feel like that that tingle of 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 magical energy come back to you, and you can freely cast if you want. Right. Do you want me to do the same thing again, or just that's use what perfect? I... I'm gonna roll a dexterity okay. saving throw. He fails. She fails. Let's go. Um, you notice as the wall of fire starts to engulf her, she just like, like a few of the eyes turn their attention to you and she just oh, cackles. Oh, good. All right. Neat. She is in a volcano. I'm kind uh, of. You know what? That is fair. I didn't think about that at all. Well, now we know. Anything else for failing? Nope. <laughs> all right. Before the start of your turn, Coil. Oh, man. Oh. Uh-huh. Bailey, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, yeah. I can do that real quick. Give me a minute. Oh, no. Okay. This music's uh this music's good, huh? Mm-hmm. Great music. I really have been rocking out over here just the entire time. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you see this flash of a, a black streak, almost like a like a like a tear. Like, like V-Sync is off and <laughs> it's just like a ripple in time and it just hits you and you don't feel anything for a moment. And then you're like, your body tenses and like seizes, like, like you're having a heart attack in the, in the moment oh, and you, you breathe out. You do take 58 points of necrotic damage. Oh, uh, that is too many. That's too many. Did that bring Including you to the zero? Temp. Including the temp. Did you got anything that could help with that? Did, question, did that bring you to zero? Yes. What... What are Faley's last moment? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I have to step away. Okay. Ooh. <gasps> that was... That was rough. That was rough. A bit rough. I think a little bit of. No. Also, chat. Um, those watching, she had to step away for something unrelated. Oh yeah, it's something unrelated. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we we will resolve that. Uh, but you you all witness as this this kind of like tear hits Faley and she drops and there it she does not seem to be responding. Um, Coil, it is your turn. Is her body still there? Her body is still there. Her body is still okay. there. Okay. 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 That's good. Yeah, I think, I think Quill will drop everything and uh, go over to her. Probably. Just, just um, break away. Just fucking yeah. Okay. 
Uh, yeah. He's he's gonna take a chomp. He missed. She. Why do I keep saying that? Good. The Hydra. Um, you you oh. you get over to her, and she in this this hot room, like she feels cold. No. Uh. <sighs> okay. Okay. Um, he's probably gonna do something later, but I think for this turn he's just stunned. So. Okay. He's done. Bornthal, you see Coil just bolt by you. I. <laughs> okay. Um. Jesus Christ, Dan. I listened. Um. The dice. Yep, the dice. <laughs> Oh my god. Um Is is uh the the beholder still floating above the air? Ten feet up, you can hit it with a melee. I can hit it with a melee? Mm -hmm. Uh Can I Can I and go it, un mm, I don't want to do that actually. I changed my mind. And just um, for the record, uh Vols does count as an ally. Okay, good. Thank you. That that does. I, I assumed they would, but good for confirmation. In that case, yeah, I'm gonna come up right, right close, not directly underneath them, but like, like about here, mm -hmm. and we're going to purging dagger it. Okay. Immediately, just try and go straight for it. Twenty-seven. Does twenty-seven? Twenty-seven hit. absolutely hits. The fifteen. Uh, uh, 24 damage, and then the offhand dagger as well, slamming straight into it. Does 25 hit? Absolutely. For an extra 4 damage. Just going to town on it. Okay. Uh, and you're, I, you're, you're, fine, and you're starting to see some wear in his, 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 its form. Um, I, I end my turn. Okay. Gilnick. You are up. Gilnex sees Faley drop to the floor and just no, and is going to run out and leap on the beholder. Okay. And he is gonna smack the eye stalk that shot her. Okay, that was if the, he can. the the tenth eye stalk. Just tenth eye stalk with the warhammer. If he can. Okay, absolutely. <laughs> 19, 19 hits. Hit. Okay. So that's going to be a 5. And I'm going to use Fury of the Small to deal addi an additional 7 damage. 12 total? 12 total. Nice. And I'm going to do it again. Do it again. Ah, 12. Uh, uh. 12. 12 is just not enough to, to connect. Okay. Um, who's... Alive and hurt. Uh, oh, was good. Was good. good. I'm awesome. okay. But well, Mornthal got bit, but I think he's okay, right? I, I'm only missing like six hit points, but it's I. Oh man. This is yeah. Uh, I'm gonna give a bardic inspiration to Mornthal. Just like banging the war drum. Okay. You are inspired, Mortal. You have a D8. Have a D8. Okay. Anything That'll else? Be my turn. Okay. Hobson. Yeah, Hobson's definitely still afraid, but also feeling the intensity of the moment as much as anyone steps mm -hmm. out of the uh out of the beams uh range and uh tries to fire two more uh, Eldritch Blasts at it, and nine misses, and 18 hits. 18 is its for, AC. For 14. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, also, you feel as you like step out of that ray, the ice shards like return back to your form as they like previously just kind of like fizzled oh. out. Oh yeah. Oh, I imagine that the well, that's a good question. With the uh, with the damage I took from that beam attack, I assume went for my temp hit points first, which probably uh, ate like uh, would. Oh, would that have, would have ate through all of? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Well, if so, yeah. you had it up, that would have happened. Yeah. <laughs> right on. All right, that's it for Hobson. Vault, I think, is just uh, still up on the thing and going to multi-attack. Okay. Going, just going swinging for stalks, but not paying a lot of attention to which. Okay. Do, uh, you, do you want to target stalks specifically? Uh, hmm. He'd go for whichever ones he saw fire last. What were the last two that we so? Uh, um, so the the tenth one you can see it, Gelnick beating on, and the fifth one was the one who hit you pretty hard. Okay, all right. Then he goes for those two. Okay. Uh, uh, and the one misses, and the two misses. Just oh, just miss. Oh. <laughs> He's, he's 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 doing work up there, but he's going for it. <laughs> yeah, he's going for it. But yeah, that's that's our turn. Okay, Trilby. Uh, Trilby's gonna pick up Scrubbins and sprint to stab it in the eye. Okay. The main eye. With yeah. his with his short sword. Seventeen just misses. Oh. <laughs> 18 is a DC. Well, that's my turn. Um, are you just holding Scrubbins there? Yep. Okay. All right. It's turn. Hmm. I can't look at Vols. I think it's going to keep its eyes on Scrubbin. Um, it I is going to... <laughs> I mostly didn't want it to look over at Coil. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, yeah, you have you have its gaze. Um, it is going to take a bite at... Gelnick. Uh, does 12 hit? No. Okay. And then it's... Tentacles activate. Where's my dice? Uh, you see another misfire. That uh, the sixth stalk like goes to pulse and nothing happens. Um. Okay. I can't hit Curl B. I need Hobson to make a dexterity saving throw, and I need Morenthal to make a constitution saving throw. Always the ones I can't. 16. 16 beats it. 16's what you need. Woo. Nice. 21, oh. natural hey. 20. There you go. Very nice. Oh. You, you see that familiar yellow, like, yellow orangish pulse that you saw it used on the prisoners above and you feel like your feet start to solidify Morenthal and you shake it off. Um. Oof. Hobson. What hit you? You feel, yeah, you, actually, sorry, Hobson felt that. Morenthal, you felt your muscles kind of seize up like you just can't move and you're, you're frozen in place and you shrug it off. Um, okay. that, that is its turn. Uh, back to Coil. Okay. Um, can he dig through her bag? Absolutely. And her stuff. He's going to try and find the key. You you easily find it, the familiar object. Okay. He's going to take it. And he is going to... Is he going to have to sprint? No, he doesn't have to sprint. Um, he's uh, going to go to Gelnek, and he's going to hold the key out to him and 
save. You need to unlock my jaw. I no. Okay. I'll allow it to happen this turn. And he'll like yep. kind of bend down to yep. give him access. Gelnek hastily going, maybe like missing the keyhole a few times. Lots it in. Ching. And uh, it'll snap open, and he suddenly. He. He won't. His demeanor will completely change, and. He, uh, he's gonna attack. Alright, just full feral coil. Full feral yeah. coil! Extremely feral. Um. He is 10 feet away, so I don't, I don't know how much he can do, actually. I think with... Does anything have a range? I think you have range okay. now because of the, the key. I think you're right. I got, I got Just push trail be out of the way. Oh, yeah, that's true. I also have an extra 10 feet of movement. Um, Oh, nice. So, yeah, even if you want, once that's triggered, you can get in range. Oh, yeah, want. and it adds five range of two attacks. It also applies to opportunity attacks. All right. How much is, how many turns is one minute again? I'm going to keep track this time. Ten. 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 Okay. So, this is turn one. Uh, go for the, the great sword. Oops, I didn't mean to have advantage on. I'm gonna give you advantage. Oh, okay. Well, this pissed. is yeah. This is this is. I feel like a pretty thematic rage. Yeah. Very, very, very angry. Um. Actually, we could just say he's reckless attacking. So yeah. Oh, there you go. That's he's that's a, another... that's perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I think he would definitely reckless attack. So he's gonna do it again. So fifteen and twenty-one. Uh, Thirty. I can't do math right now. Uh, thirty-six. 36. Thank you. Okay, the he he's starting to or she's starting to kind of droop in the air and like you you can sense the struggle and almost panic in the eyes as they kind of dart around. Um, they they are looking rough. Good. Um, right. and and for for the rest of you as you watch as like coils kind of in this feral state, like they're swinging their sword and like almost like like the connective tissue between the pieces of armor that that make up coils form are almost like stretching like beyond their limits and they're just cleaving into this thing like over your heads mm -hmm. very um, recklessly yeah i imagine it's just like just carving like barely missing you guys probably <laughs> yeah yeah somebody yeah. else should stand back <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Morenthal, <sighs> before the start of your turn. Yeah, here it comes. Um, Can you give me another constitution saving throw? This is a big constitution. Because <laughs> you're a scra scrawny little elf. <laughs> Four of them I have advantage against. Four of them. <laughs> twenty. You, hey, that, twenty. That familiar sensation of the paralysis taking hold, you shrug it off. And now it's your turn. Whoa. Okay. I'm slamming that dagger back in it again. Eleven. Eleven's well, a Gone miss, but you are inspired. Hand. I am inspired. I do have the one D eight as well. I would need to get seven or higher on it, though. You would. 
Oh. Fuck it. I'm using it. Seven. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. What's the total on that? For, uh, that's 30 damage. Total. More and then we'll s Oh, thank you. How would you like to do this? Yeah, fuck you, Ooh, Beholder. Oh, yeah, I full on slamming it just into the side of it. You know, you, you, you pierce this purging dagger, and like the radiant energy just starts to burn and eat away from the wound before this like just column of light shining through, like hitting the wall, uh, just burns and pierces, and the the, the rest of you watching from the front. Its eye just like goes wide and wide before it just like fizzles into just like this decayed, empty husk of energy, and the beast slumps to the ground. I'm gonna immediately cut the stump and get the ring. Just, I'm not even caring that like the second it hits the ground, I'm just cutting it off so we can leave immediately. Mm hmm. Yeah, as soon as, soon as it goes luck, limp, you can see that, that stalk, the, the ring, slides off. Yeah. We should definitely not stop for it, but Vols will not read the room and does stand triumphantly over the defeated monster <laughs> in a pose. <laughs> Coil, Coil is um, unfortunately not out of combat, and uh, he's going to attack Vols. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I feel like it's going to try and grab Coil, like, by his legs. <laughs> Coil, enough! Enough! The fight is over! Yeah, what is, uh, what is Vals' AC? What is Vals' AC? Does he have hit points? I, I think it was in that wall of text. I think it's it in was a, in the... Uh, let's see. Somewhere. <laughs> 15 is the AC. Uh, oh. Hit um, points is... Uh, 80 and no, 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 wait. Uh, no, hit points is 40. It'll go up more with more levels. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Coil just cli cleaves into Devolse and slashes across like the side of his arm. He's doing oh. a bite. Oh, he's doing a bite. Excuse me. And he's going to do a bite. I assume. Bite. So. <laughs> I don't know how, how the rules work for like de summoning uh, or anything, but I assume this is similar to Vols just feeling unimportant and un and <laughs> slighted and feeling like oh. and just haughtily leaving. So if it's, if, I believe it's the concentration spell and only has a duration, you can dismiss it at any time as a free action. Okay. Then again, better Vols than any of the rest of us. I feel like it would be up to Vols, though. I, I feel like Vols in this moment is looking perplexed as the, the, the swipes are coming across. Goes, not very grateful. <laughs> <laughs> and I think, I think over the span, if you don't dismiss, I think there's a, a point where Coil just depletes the resources oh, yeah, of the spell. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I don't. I think at this rate, Coil's fury will far outpace Vols's hurt feelings. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has nine hit points after the first attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think, I think, uh, I think Coil dismisses him before he can, <laughs> before he can. The, the, the final like uh, bite from Coil just, just fading into like glitter, just. Ta da! Like, <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh boy. Um, I'm gonna uh, roll a, a D5. See who's next. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Had Gelnick try to. Oh, calm you guys him are down? lucky. It's, um, well, I don't know. It's not scrubbing! It's not scrubbing! Out. 
Uh, well, Scruffin says the... an AC of 18, so have at it. <laughs> okay. Well, he's Rakos attacking as well. So, oh, God. Um... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, above board, do I uh, do I uh, have permission to yes, try you, and you stop? Are welcome. Okay, okay. Yelnik is gonna try and just like snap close um Coil's j jaw like a you know, the like a crocodile hunter. Just like mm -hmm. That is enough Just try. Uh would I roll something for that, do you think? What do you what do you think, Dan? Um, if if I think if you're both up for it, I think a, a roll off would would be good. But okay. you can totally play yeah. this narrative how you like. All right. You can do maybe like a wisdom save against um maybe like persuasion or performance or something from Gilnick. Sound good to you, sir? Or what, whatever whatever yeah skills you feel necessary. I'm I'm totally okay. fine with it. He's First, Gelnek is going to so try and at athletics his way through. Just try and shut his mouth and just okay. look into his eyes. Just like, oh, we are your friends. The battle is over. Stand down. Uh, oh I think boy. that that will do is, he's, is that like a strength save or something? You think? Uh, if you, uh, up to you. How, yeah. Feel. How do you, how do you feel? Because I think you're, you're, you're having this moment. Is it, is it? Like, does he need to appease to Coil's, like, mind, is or is it not... a, a strength force thing? So, unfortunately, like, this, like, as much as he's mad about Faley, like, furious about Faley, this is, like, the consequence of actually just unlocking his job, period. Mm -hmm. He is not himself for, like, nine more turns. Okay, so maybe a strength save would be now. best here? Yeah. Oh. I just imagine well, he's like he wagging his face throw. and just like back and forth and throws yeah. uh, Gilnek off. Yeah. And goes yeah, to you're, you're witnessing the like pure power of Coil. Um, but perhaps does distract him from, from biting Scrubbins. <laughs> I mean, Scrubbins survived. Scrubbins oh, right. has 10 out of 35 HP left. <laughs> so it was, it was a big <laughs> chomp, but Scrubbins is, is okay. <laughs> he's okay, okay. He's fine. He didn't break Scrubbins. No. He's all, it'll be fine. Unless you bite him again. <laughs> okay, well now it's Trilby's turn. Nope, nope. Uh, Gelnick is going to cast whole person. <laughs> oh, there we go. Ooh. Make a wisdom Ooh. save. DC 14. Oh, very good. Yeah, All right, go. you're wow. paralyzed, and uh, Gelnek just uh, calls to everyone. Quick, help me! Uh, help Gelnek put the latch on Strong Dog closed. Trilby's gonna help. Yep, I'll help. And... Coil, this is for your own good. You are not yourself. You must hold together. We may yet be able to save Faley. And locks his mouth back closed. And he is, uh, he is, uh, placated, but he is also, like, unconscious. Ooh. Oh, no. For how long? Um. I think it was a stun, so I think it's, start like. of his next turn. Okay, yeah, so only a, a few seconds. seconds. Um. Okay. I think in this moment, while you all are witnessing this firsthand, maybe something Coil hasn't even experienced. Um, from just kind of the exposed, like, like there's you can see the segments between armor now and there it's it's almost like a not organic but just feels more uh like natural not stiff like armor just from those wounds and, or those those exposed spots you can see just kind of like like a small puddle of this black acre form on the ground oh. just like Ooh. just kind of like dripping like like almost like a, the amount in like a water bottle, like a, a small normal water bottle, is spilled after this. Uh, the, after the after the jaw shuts and the, like the form returns to the normal state of coil. I'm to drill me. Do either of you have message? Some sort of communication spell? Uh, uh no. I I have a, 
magic mail papers that go back to my parents. I think that's it. Uh, how? Oh, geez. How far is the that base that? Uh, oh, it was like a few hours away, wasn't it? The village, yeah. the fire the genasi village. village. Yeah, that's yeah. far. Yeah, it was. I believe you had overnight travel. Jeez. I think it was, it was about a day. Probably be wherever the stinky are right now. You do know Burple and Naw are still outside, and you know the prisoners yeah. are in the sewers below Castle Olui. Mm hmm. Gelnick kind of looks to Faley. We must. We must gain assistance from the Ustanki. They're our only chance to save Faley. Here, help me grab Coil and take that blasted ring. We're getting out of here. The Ustenki, they might be able to help if we're not too late. Let's go. Okay. Is the there anything? Is there anything in this chest over here that might help us? Is there? Yeah, yeah. Check. It is. It is a massive sealed chest. Gelnek is just going to focus on pulling Coil, which he he's well, pretty should be back. Right? It was just a couple seconds of stun. Yeah, Coil is. Coil is awake now, but he he was just kind of laying there. But as soon as Gelnek starts to pull on him, he does he does get up. Coil, are you okay? He doesn't really answer. Well, you can stand. I I am sorry that we may not ha have much time to deliberate, but we must get out of here. Morantha, what did you find? What did I find, Dan? Inside this chest, um, it is not locked or trapped. You do open it up. Um, there is a lot of stuff in it. I'm just going to read some stuff out. If I, I can also post this uh, in our chat. There is approximately 3,223 gold pieces, 398 platinum pieces, um, 1,300 gold worth of various gems and stones, there is a wand with three small orbs affixed to the top of it. There are boots engraved with a uh, stitching of wings on the sides of them. Um, you see these uh, fine fitted uh, cloth gloves with arcane symbols etched in them um, and then exposed like fingertips on all of the, uh, the gloves. And then you see a vibrant uh purple stone not a void crystal it's not having the same pulsing energy but um you can see there is a uh a telltale runic symbol carved into it any reason I, not to just stuff all that in a bag of holding and go that's exactly what i was gonna do because i don't think any of this on first glance looks like it'll help right now with this situation no. yeah exactly well i guess the only thing that I per would I know the okay real quick can I check that that purple stone because it if out of all of these objects that would be the one that could maybe be magical that would help in this instance. Give me, can I investigate an me? Arcana check or ar yeah Arcana nine. Can I also give that a go? Yeah, you let's... sure can. Yeah, everyone can give me. Oh. A, I'm just gonna. The, I'm just gonna my dig through, put it all in my pockets, and just go. This is the only thing that I think I don't know. Is 19 good enough? 19. Hang on. Let me let me do a quick little read here. Yeah, that goes. Oh, it's purple. Um. You have heard of these uh, artifacts, Trilby. Um, Hobson, you've read about something similar, but maybe not specifically which one this is. Um, these are stones that mages would activate and they would kind of just hover around your head and provide like extra buffs, like a, like a backup spell casting or uh, more awareness or fortitude. This specific gem, um, 
is a reserve ironstone. Um, it basically will cast, it can hold up to three levels worth of spells at any point. Um, there's there's more to it than that, but that's you 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 feel like it's a backup um, mana source for mages. Not gonna, gonna help us now. Instance. Just pocket it, and we're just going. Yep, all pocketed. We can sort through it later. Exactly. We have priorities. Can you carry Faley? He will go and pick her up. Let us leave this accursed place. Yeah, okay. like it's gonna leave the yep. charge out. It it takes a little of time, um, but you you make it back to that central chamber in the castle. Um, the outside situation doesn't seem to have changed. There's only those few small bits of 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 torchlight. Um, the outer walls look like they have a few patrols on them now. Like maybe there was a shift or something last time you checked. Um, but you can easily sneak back uh, and get to the sewer latch um, with the the surprisingly few number of troops out at the moment. Through the sewer. Through the sewer. Mm -hmm. Try and find that entrance that we went in. See if they're, the two goblins are still there. Okay. You make your way through the sewers. Um, at the end, you can see Kind of staring out into the space um, are the the five people that were with you, Fervor, uh, and the, the two rescued Rift of Flames and the two smugglers that were traveling with you. Um, they're all looking out, and you can hear the sounds of just combat and just, like, s screaming, swords clashing, um, and, and then just kind of, like, commotion. Um, as they glance over to you, they go, uh, we don't we don't know what happened, but m maybe about 15 minutes ago uh, This happened and you can see a bunch of those shambling mounds are just Attacking through fields of these mercenaries that were once enthralled to some degree by the Hydra and the more feral beasts seem to be just full reign doing whatever they want um, it you can see some mercenaries just bolting and running, and even the large majority of the people who were on patrols and guarding have either died or disappeared, and it's just little pockets you can see uh, throughout the, the surrounding, like, moat of, of the city that are still fighting. Um, you can probably sneak through if you're quick enough. It, it's probably going to be either a stealth or um, athletics check to just bolt through and not be caught. I'll do an athletics. Okay. Did we tell the prisoner, those prisoners, did they leave or do we need to help them leave? Do we need to get back in touch with them? They're, they're with you right now. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. They were, they were waiting at the sewer entrance for either A, you guys to come back or B, just going to go if you guys didn't Perfect. come okay, back or anything. Part. Right. Just, you, you came back fast enough. Sweet. So they will all follow you. Um, Okay. Um, on stealth or athletics, did anyone roll lower than a seven? Uh, hang on. I didn't do mine yet. I thought I did, but I didn't click it. Sorry, what do 20. I need to roll for? Stealth or athletics. This is just to either bolt or sneak through while this commotion of these pockets yeah. of fighting are happening. <laughs> That's not great. It will be the stealth. Be seven. Just enough, need to be a right? seven. Just need to be a okay. seven. Okay, all right. Well, better than rolling One, athletics, two, which is four, negative. Five, five. okay. And the the first two passengers or the, the, the two smugglers easily make it. Oh, nice. Uh Fervor got a net twenty. Uh an eight and a ten. And all the the prisoners join you at the edge of the outskirts. Um and in the in the brief amount of time you can hear a, a small ruffle from uh like some of the foliage nearby, and you can see two goblins appear. Just we don't know what happened, but uh, is, we, can we can we go? Oh, we must. Well, yes, but 
we must see the Ustenki. Our our companion, she is incapacitated. She may be at death's door. And the Ustenki, they have healers. Um, they they both kind of nod. Um, Burple turns to Gnaw and he goes, You, go with others. Get the medicine from the Rift of Flame. I will take them to the Ustenki. And, and Gnaw nods and... That nah, was a terrible thing. Gnaw nods. Um, <laughs> and y- the, the group of you immediately kind of part ways. The fervor... Um, and the, the, the other prisoners join, uh, Gnaw to head towards the path that you came from back to the Rift of Flame. Um, while Burple leads you in kind of the same direction for a bit, but you veer off a bit more north, um, than the, the volcano you came from. And it takes you a bit, um, there's probably a, a, a point where you do take some rest. If you want, we can just kind of skip through that. Or you can roleplay it out if you'd like. I don't know if any of us are resting. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> it's going to be yeah. wood rest. Okay. Yeah, that, okay. We rest if we like, absolutely like, even, have even to. Even pushing past the point of like exhaustion or what? I don't think any of us want to rest. Okay, right so now. I, I, yeah. I think maybe uh, Burple goes to like, well, we'll set up camp here. And you all just are like, no. <laughs> so he, he powers through and guides you. And at this point, um, the, the sun has risen. Um, you're probably about midday, and you can see in the outskirts the the familiar sight to you, Gelnek. Even though the locations changed, the structures and the 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 quick setup structures and buildings that you've known to to love and remember, uh, you see the entrance to the Ustanki tribe. I think that's probably where we'll wrap it today. <laughs> that, that no. was that was we're not I'm losing so sorry her. to call <laughs> that was not lo- i refuse by, by two hit points i had 57 with oh my God. Uh, so just just so you know for for folks who are confused like there was no death saves that was the death beam and if it drops you to zero in that specific instance there are no death saves God. And so if you it, can it believe it, that's a perfect storm. That's not the worst beam it has. There's one <laughs> no, that's not. that's why I was like, how's her body? Because There's her one. body's like there is a disintegration beam that mm. turns your body to dust. Also, yeah. uh, I'll let chat know, and I already told our group, uh her last words would have just been Sheldon Coyle's name. Oh. <laughs> Which I wish I could have RP'd out, but I was feeling really sick, so I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> no, you're totally good. I I was like, oh god, I'm the worst person ever. <laughs> no, it's okay. Oh, oh. I, I, there's still a body. There's, there's still, still a body. body. There's still yeah. hope. Um. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that was what an uh, emotional that roller was coaster. That was yeah. an emotional roller. I was not expecting that to happen so quick. Right off. Also, Dan, I, I want to make note that uh, uh, Gelnek has not put his disguise back on when escaping no. hastily. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. He has not considered putting the disguise back on. He is too focused on trying to save his tribe member. I think oh. in the initial confusion of like you all approaching, Burple and Nod did not notice. But I think as you were traveling, you caught glances. But I don't think he said anything. Uh, Good to know. Good to know. Oh, man. Man. Uh, (laughs) Oh, my gosh. Wow. We did it. We we got another thing. You just start oh, the boy. next combat and Felix at one HP, so it's fine. It's, it's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's Final Fantasy rules, right? Uh I've it it was just like everyone's in the beam, so I can't target them, and I'm like, oh there's Felix. <laughs> and it's a deck save, so I'm not gonna hit Morenthal. Yeah, you fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I have advantage against every single save except constitution and strength. Mm-hmm. Every other one I have advantage against. He's a smart God. boy. There, those, those, those beholders, they're, they're smart. They're crazy, but they're smart. Oh. Oh. You think he can fix it? They're gonna. I'm gonna make them. I don't care that I'm banished. <laughs> oh. It's... it's, it's...
It's gonna be an interesting one next. Oh, holy shit! I can't believe it, how that went. <laughs> I wish Scrubbins's roll was slightly higher for the temp hit points. <laughs> oh my gosh! There was so was, many. It wasn't even oh that bad of a roll. Like nine h nine temp hit, hit points is not bad. Pretty good. It could it have been just, higher though. <laughs> it could it go was up to just twelve. A few points more. I know. Ah. You can't Simple shove a bonbon bon in this one. I know. That was my first thought. Was like, can I just heal her? Is that is that how I don't know how death works in D and D? Oh god, Chubby would, wouldn't he? Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to do that. <laughs> that was gonna be too sad. That is very sad. I'm fine. Everything's you're, fine. You're totally fine. Mm -hmm. Hey, if anything, you know important people in the world, and I'm sure important people have connections. Yeah. And, and worst case scenario, scenario I was gonna. Say. <laughs> He's right, waiting in the wings. Your favorite character, Nicole. <laughs> waiting in the shadows. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna find out he's there at the tribe camp. <laughs> oh! Fancy meeting you here, huh? <laughs> I had the feeling I should be here. Oh. Holy shit. Wow. Did you know I'm a druid? <laughs> <laughs> I double in necromancy! <laughs> Holy fuck. I'm like, I'm just, I, I was like stunned. I, I I was like, I don't, I don't know what to do. Oh, you yeah, let the dice all of us do their thing is what you did. did I just rolled the dice. Yep. That, oh. Well, uh, thank you so much for playing my friends. I can't think, um, think of a yeah. single thing that could make any of us more invested in what is going to happen I, next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, cool, we'll kill a monster, and then, like, you know, we'll do it. Oh, you will all level up, by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, yay. Cool. Great. Yippee. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just, like, going through all of our rings. Like, is there anything we could have done? And I don't see anything. I feel like there's something I could have done, but I didn't do it in time. But it's like there's no saving throw, was there? No. Mm -hmm. It's just zap. And I think zap. the one person who could have done something was failing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it hit someone else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if it hit someone else. Ay, ay, ay. Damn oh. Beholder with its smart brain. You said it was an Hydra. Is that not a Beholder? It, Is that it's a just the nickname that oh, okay. it was given. Gotcha. Yeah, it was a beholder, though. Gotcha, gotcha. It was a named beholder. It was a, yeah, it was a named. It had the skull icon by it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna... If anyone wanna... From this experience. Learn a new spell? Yeah, I'm gonna level up a second level in Paladin, and I'm gonna learn Spare the Dying. <laughs> right now. Oh. Oh. From this experience. That is, yeah, that is in lore. Have that. Feels right. Wait, what? I said uh, that feels correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna say bye to chat, and I'd right. love to chat mm -hmm. with you guys if you're able. I'll, but I totally understand. Yeah. If you need to go to bed, I'll be right back. All yeah. right. Bye, chat. Bye, chat. See you, chat. Chat, I fucked up. Chat, I did. I I fucked up. Chat, I killed my player. I don't feel good. I was like. They definitely have more than 58 hit points. There's no way. I didn't do what the boulder did. You're right. You're right. It's hard. It's hard. I've, I've, uh, that, this is my first ever player death. In, in, in all my years of DMing. So I've had so many death saving throws and stuff on my players or, or almost TPKs and they clutched it, but. That's 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 a that's that is a rough one. Ten d ten damage, and if they hit zero, no death saves. Woo! I I'm so excited to see Jack's art so much. Uh, thank you everyone so much for hanging. Um, wow, that that went places. Um, so for fun. There were two rays 
There were two eye stalks that the Beholder didn't have. Which were the Telekinesis and Disintegration. For the record, that one that misfired three times, I think, was the Disintegration Beam. So, that would have been bad. Uh, and in, in terms of little lore there, um, the, the, the Black Knight that they found up top, uh, had the remnants of an eye stalk in their hand. Could have been a TPK, yeah. Yeah, telekinesis would have been an instant kill on anyone if I rolled it, so I was like... <laughs> what about no? <laughs> Oh boy. Man. I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I'll put on some happy music. Here, wait. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit I'm gonna hit them all in the fields real quick. I'm just gonna turn this off. And then just do this. Um, thank you so much for hanging, everyone. Let's find someone to raid. I will let you guys know ASAP when the next session, session 20, will be. Uh, we got, we'll have leveled up folks, uh, and, you know, maybe we'll see Faley again. Maybe, the, maybe the party will fix away. Um... Oh, I, the thing that I hate is there's stuff in my, there's stuff in my notes that I'm like, I might just go against that. <laughs> we'll see how it plays out. Oh boy. Um, let's find someone to raid. Yo, Bath is streaming and I think, uh, I think Bath is going to be joined by Nicole and maybe some of our... Other friends? It would be unfortunate if may maybe some other entity, you know, had Faley's soul. Wouldn't it? Yeah. I did nothing. I did nothing. I am merely the narrator. Oh my gosh. Oh my I'm I'm I've never I've never felt this way after DD. This is a new sensation for me. Thank you so much for hanging everyone. I'll see you guys tomorrow probably for I don't know, maybe some Kaizo or something. Uh <laughs> I'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you so much for hanging. <laughs>